Alrighty, here we are. Welcome everyone, hello. I'm Helms Knight, and welcome to the show Doubles for Dummies. On this show, I'll be teaming up with partners and we're gonna be analyzing and learning from the games that we play, as well as answering questions from you. Today, I'm partnered up with a very special guest. He was one of the top junior players in the US growing up and is currently the second highest rated Blitz player and the top rated bullet player on chess.com. It's Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky. Say hello. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. Um, very excited uh, to be here to branch out um, and uh, learn from the best in the world <laughs> at uh, Devil's Chess. Um, and as everyone will find out, I, I'm going to put this out there right now. I suck. So <laughs> I'm unashamedly admitting that. But i um, very, very excited to do this. So uh, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be a really fun time. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a ton of fun, and to all watching, feel free to jump into the random pool to possibly get paired against us in a match, and you can also challenge us between games when we're taking pauses. I'm going to first go over the rules for anyone who is new to doubles chess and hasn't played or seen this before so that you can know a little bit about what's going on and some of the terms we might, we might be using. So here you can see the rules, which I'll read for you. So doubles chess, also known as bug house, is a chess variant played on two chess boards by four players in teams of two. Normal chess rules apply, except that captured pieces on one board are passed to the teammate on the other board. As each captured piece is passed to your teammate, they have the option of using any available passed pieces on their board. And available passed pieces are displayed on the side margin of the board, which you'll see while we're playing. A couple things I'll add to this is that you can only drop pieces on unoccupied squares and you cannot drop pawns to be automatic queens. So they can go a rank before, so on the second or the seventh, but they can't be dropped to just become a queen. <laughs> that would be madness. That would be complete <laughs> madness. <laughs> but also, there's uh, for those who maybe know different sort of variations of doubles chess, in the one that we're doing, the main one, the one that I would say is the standard across the world, you can drop mate and you can drop check. So that's going to clarify it just for a few people who, I know some people play it thinking with the rules that you can't do that, but you can. So here's one term that I'm going to throw out there. It's called sack sitting. So in chess, we have sacrificing. You sacrifice your piece for some sort of advantage. And in uh, doubles chess, it's similar, except that you might not necessarily be able to get an advantage just by what you already have. The idea is that you sacrifice material and then you wait for trades from your partner. And usually from that, you're hoping to get an advantage, though there are people who do it a little bit too much and do it at the <laughs> wrong times. So you got to do it strategically. See, I didn't know that term myself. I'm actually going to write write this stuff down. I'm old fashioned. <laughs> Amazing. I'm in school. Uh, interesting. <laughs> I feel like I'll be doing that a lot, like sack sitting, just sacking everything <laughs> and just hoping that you produce this yeah. entire kingdom of pieces. Yes, I will get you a kingdom of pieces. <laughs> So another term that we use is sit. We'll say sit, and that just means don't move. On chess.com, we have a button, it's called stall. But a lot of the time, when we're just verbally communicating, we'll be using the word sit. Just means don't move. So initiative in doubles chess. There's an initiative in chess as well, but in doubles, it's a little bit more complicated to tell if you have it. So initiative is having the possibility to attack first, taking into consideration all possible trades coming in. So this is really important because in doubles, time is everything. So if you're up time on the clock and you want to attack, a lot of the time you might be able to get the initiative if you're not under attack yourself. But let's say you're down time and maybe, sure, it looks like you have a position where you should be able to attack, but you have to keep in mind that your opponent can wait for their partner to get trades for them if you're down on the clock. So you have to sort of take into consideration, look at your partner's board and think, well, what pieces could maybe they try to force for their partner in the time that we're down? Or what pieces look like they're about to get traded off even if the times in the, on the clocks are equal? So it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky, but we'll talk about it more as we play through the game. So it's just having the, possi the possibility to attack first, taking all of that into consideration. And now I'll just explain a little bit about um, the account that I'm using. Uh, which is the Doubles for Dummies account. So on Friday, I teamed up with Grandmaster Hammer and we were on two accounts, both starting at the rating of 800. And we were able to bring those accounts up to roughly 2300 by the end of the couple hour mark. I played a little on afterwards, but uh, it was around about that. And the idea here is that 
myself and my partner, we team up with these new accounts, which will allow us to sort of like go through the different rating classes. And although the games are rated, just know that all points will be refunded to the participants upon the conclusion of the speed run. And we're going to demonstrate strategies needed to advance through different ratings classes. We have our outgoing matches set to infinite, so we'll be paired against all different types of opponents. And yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's that. It's amazing. Uh, all right. I'm excited, a little bit nervous. Um, it's been <laughs> actually be a while since I played. Uh, I I did play a little bit this summer, but um, mm -hmm. uh, you know I think your patience will be tested for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll find some fabulous strategies going Sounds forward. Good. So we're going to jump in. Are you ready to start? I am. All right, let's do it. Let's see what happens. I like that your rating's still 3102. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's going to drop. I'm going to play Knight F3 move 1. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, aggressive. That's my <laughs> favorite style in Devil's <laughs> Chess. I can do aggressive. I can do amazing, it. amazing. Remind myself. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, I'd say like two of the most important things in just doubles is initiative and time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like people don't realize that initiative is so important. A lot of the time, there are some top players who totally can play wonderfully without really being super aggressive players. But mm -hmm. I feel like the most effective method to just winning games just attack, is attack, to attack, attack, attack. attack. And of course, are, if... I just act to... Mm -hmm. Sorry, continue. Sorry, continue. Oh, okay, I'll just finish my, what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Is that... Um, and if you are a player that's more uh, maybe defensive, often your partner will be the attacker. So you, uh, it would be more rare that you'd see two defensive players winning games quickly or super easily, maybe. It'd be a very different strategy. So what were you going to ask? I was, I was going to ask, how important are queens in, in uh, doubles chess? I just sacked a queen, um, just assuming that you're going to manage. But are queen sacks for like, a healthy position? Is that, is that ever justified? or? Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think that with queens, it's often said that two pieces for a queen is a, a very good trade in doubles chess. But mm -hmm. a lot of the time, when it comes to like how valuable they are, it totally depends on the position. So right now, I'm totally safe on my board. There's no real... Well, I'm also giving mate. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> the, 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 the three that. stacked knights. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I love... Gotta love me some knights and doubles chess. But, um, yeah, it depends on the position. And uh, I'd say that it's really important to let your partner know when you're doing a queen trade. Or also just to glance at their board to make sure it's not going to mate them. But a lot of mm -hmm. the time, it's not a huge deal if you end up losing a queen. If you're getting a couple pieces in return. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Understood. Understood. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of like an unspoken like uh, rule to always tell your partner when a queen's trade's happening. Now, in saying that, I'm probably totally going to forget <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> I think I'm going to be the one who forgets. A pawn would be great. For, All right. Uh, because, um, so, not that he... Yeah, I was just going to say, with the position you have right now, the common defense is knight at f4, not pawn at g2. Oh, really? Knight at f4 to cover h3 and g2. Exactly, I'm exactly. Understood. I'm going to put a knight on f5 here, because I feel like I have an opportunity to attack a little bit. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. So he's getting in a little bit, but you can just take that and step down to g1. g1 yeah. And as long as I don't give a queen or a rook or a knight, you're pretty safe. <laughs> or fun. <laughs> or, yeah, um, as long as I don't give anything. <laughs> you're yeah, you're, exactly. you're fine, um, safe plus solid. So safe. Another term we use, safe plus solid. <laughs> safe plus solid, yeah. Very safe. Okay, let's pretend to... Uh... So, so yeah, exactly. A lot of the time it's really important to know when to attack and when to defend. And right now mm -hmm. in your position, your opponent, I would say, is more likely to be able to grab the initiative before you. Um, Ooh. I might be getting in over <laughs> here, though. <laughs> exactly as I, I planned. Get <laughs> oh, I love that your rating's just going up so far. It's going up and up and up. You're yeah, going to be the know. top rated player on this side. Just imagine what happens when I lose my first game. The world just really explodes. Oh my gosh. So I, another question for you. After e4, net f6, e5, I see a lot of players playing d5. Is that actually a, a legitimate opening? 
So e4, knight f6, d5, and then said? And then sacking the knight even if they go e5. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a common opening. Um, a lot of the time, you'll, they'll, people will sack their knights on like f3 or on f6, just so that when they recapture with the pawn, they have a bit of safety. It's not my mm -hmm. favorite opening. I kind of like taking those knights, but um, it, uh, people get away with it. Oh, okay, so you're getting a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I'm taking all the pieces. But um, you should be fine. He's going to go knight at c5 if he wants to be accurate. Oh, crap. But then king d6, king c6. It's risky, but... Very risky, yeah. So I think after king d6, I don't smell anything. Let's oh, go yeah. king d7, maybe? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go, go king d7. Go king d7. So you want to run okay. down to... And to c8. I have definitely done something bad over here, because I am offering a couple bishops, which I should not be. But I'll try to uh -huh. hold them. So the whole idea, okay, yeah, he knows what he's doing. The idea yeah, is it, I should not want to give a bishop because it will hurt Right, he's going to put it on e6, then king c6, and I'm hanging by a single thread. Yes, so we're going to have to calculate here just a little bit because we're down time. So if you go to c6, pawn b5, b6, he needs a couple pawns to probably mate you. Well, maybe you can run up to a4 or something and try to... <laughs> My whole also disconnected, but... <laughs> oh, that's always... Uh... <laughs> that could be a little deus ex machina there. Mm. <laughs> so the gods have conspired in keeping the best bullet player. Or so... the best uh, double uh -huh. player. <laughs> so my hope here is to find a way to trick my opponent. <laughs> so so you tricky. calculated mate, pawn e6, king c6, pawn b5, king b6. Mm, then, he, then he goes pawn at a5, takes, b4, takes, a... Well... You probably can't go b4. It's like one, a single thread there. He's going to yeah. go bishop d2, take on b4, takes a3, and then, yeah, he's going to mate you in, like, three or something. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, hmm, I need a trick. Basically, I need a trick. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm, that's what um, I'm figuring out here. I'm going to look for one. You could do a spite check, but I guess we'll just take another piece. Yeah. Try to think of any way to Could you go knight takes b5 and go for mate? That'd be yeah, possible. that's that's that was my first idea, but I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be close to mate. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Might have to just bite the bullet here, though. Yeah, I mean, it might take him a little while to find the mating uh, mating strategy. We'll hope. Um, we'll, yeah, exactly. We'll hope. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh... Okay, well, he is thinking. Okay, pawn to b5, king b6, pawn to c5, okay, oh, yeah, up. there we go, knight to b3, but I've got king a4. Yeah, 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 so we're gonna see what he does here, yeah, he, so he did that okay, move. Okay, now I need to put up something on b4. And I'm only gonna give him a knight, yeah, see if he takes, Oof, this is so dubious. I think I made it after b4, knight a3. Yeah, we're down on the clock, sadly. All right, that's fine. They noticed mm. all, yeah. Yeah, that was that was definitely my fault. See the problem? No, 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 no. no. I <laughs> no, won't let you say that. <laughs> you no, know, because I could have held the bishop. I didn't realize that. Uh, I didn't realize quickly enough that I should be holding a bishop there. Yeah, well, minus four hundred seventy-six. Oh, hard. Okay, that's more. That's more down earth. <laughs> so, what my mistake, I think, was I just exposed myself a little too much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your king was definitely unsafe, but uh, the bigger issue is the bishop coming, I think. The bishop on his side. Yeah. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. gotcha. you probably, you were, like, the definitely 100% the defense in that position is to run your king down to c8, Block where you'll be safe for eternity. <laughs> Should I try 94 knight takes f2 kind of sack? No. That's usually okay. considered bad, because unless you are, are having trades for sure coming in, or if I'm going to trade for you, like, mm, you could try uh -huh. it if you want. I'll try to trade for you. Um, it's just that well, in here, general I, I doing it. Also win a piece, yeah, that's so. definitely going to be the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Piece sounds pretty, pretty good. It's pretty great. Okay. Um, let's trade. A oh, free pawn. Nice. I'm going to beef up my. Oh crap, I missed pawn to d7. Queen might, yeah, queen is coming for, yeah. for him. Yeah, for two pieces it's fine, and now for a lot of I'm pieces, just going to be but... holding a knight here, because knight at uh, c5. Knight c5 would be, would be very unpleasant. Yeah. But a good move for you might be something like knight at e4 at some point to cover that and attack a little. Yeah, c6. c6, exactly. definitely, because it opens c7. You said knight where? 
Uh, well, now maybe not, because he's... Maybe just e6 to defend e6, d5. e yep, that's what I was C5. thinking. Exactly. Defense so now C5. he's going to get a knight, but that's fine. And I'm also going to tell you to... Uh, well, he's going to get a knight over there, too. Yeah, this is a little bit risky. Yeah, I can't avoid knight. I can play knight e4, or I, I can try knight to f3 and knight to g2, but that doesn't seem to do much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to... My opponent's playing a little bit passively, which is... Uh, I, if I was him, I would have sat for maybe pawn at e2 to threaten queen at f1. But uh, now I might be able to get the initiative here, so we should be okay. Okay. You can just play, like, okay. safe, and I won't trade too yeah. many pieces. I'm going to try to beef up my uh, defenses a little yeah. bit. I won't give, like, 20 queens, I promise. M <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a lot of pawns, but... Um, uh, he's trying to do that. How does a knight... Right. Is a knight good So I need you, you to not give a knight, because it will mate me on g2 after knight at f3. He, he won't get a knight. I don't have any knights. I still can't draw arrows. Is there any mod in chat who can allow me to draw arrows? Be nice to draw arrows. Yeah, just hold a knight, and I am safe here. Okay. I just put a knight on the board, but uh, I won't give it up. Yeah, we're up a lot of time, so you could also just sit if you would like sure. to. Sit for a move. He's gonna. Okay, is this a threat? This, this looks like he a doesn't. Threat. He doesn't have heavies though. Not one, right? So. He has a queen. Oh, he does. All right, I might have to. Uh, hmm. I have to do this. Unfortunately. <laughs> no problem. I mean, my king isn't that unsafe. I think. Is the knight still really unpleasant? You could, I guess, put um, it on g2. I'm gonna think here. I'm gonna just. All right. Zero fear. I have zero fear. I'm gonna. I can make a couple of moves. Wait. Actually, pawn mates me. Don't. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh pawn no. Mates you. Okay. <laughs> I uh, actually. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I might have. Oh, he didn't see it though. We're all good. Okay. It's everything's just fine, just fine. I can fine get you a here. knight. No, you're gonna on go go pawn at d two. You gotta attack here. Maybe take the knight then pawn at d two. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just. Oh, I got a lot so of stuff safe. actually, which you have yes. procured for me. Oh. So you, wait, oh, you, you have okay. uh, wait, slow down. Go knight at g three. I know it looks weird. I also have knight takes e three. It's not as good because after he goes to g one, he's a little bit safe. You want to have the threat oh, of knight at so e two. So put a knight on g three. Yeah, yeah. You want to have the the threat of knight at e two. To drop ah, a new understood. knight. Understood. Oh, that's another term that for people who maybe are not new to knowing all the bug house terms. If I say at, it means place a new one rather than an existing one. I'm giving him a heavy, so watch out. That should Never be mind. It's mate. fine. I think I'm mating after rook h1. All right, and I will just stay safe here. Excellent. And get up time. And we should I can be choose good. between rook h1 mate or, or putting a queen on h1 mate. Hmm. <laughs> you did give me a kingdom there. Yes, yes, the kingdom has come. <laughs> All right, it's time to play some uh, some chess over here. I think his queen is almost... Okay, he resigns. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. Mm. That was good. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually... The funny thing is, I'm so... Mm -hmm. I'm very... I missed this pawn to d2 idea, so that's mm -hmm. good to know when I have acquired a lot of pieces and jump into the attack. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a trouble with that, because I'm always... I want to be safe, especially when I'm black. And yeah. I don't have a good feel for chance to uh to turn the tables on my opponent mm -hmm. and just to go over that sequence before i can't rewind it on your board but mm -hmm. uh from what i can remember so the right the reason why knight at g3 is better is because mm -hmm. if you were to ignore this like you had a great queen at e1 idea but there's also mm -hmm. a second idea that works well which is knight at e2 because if it goes up to h2 then um you'd have threats like knight at f1 or rook at h1 if i, I can't remember the position exactly but after queen at yeah, e1 at as well knight, knight to f1 would be really yeah because his was... mistake was to take the knight he shouldn't have done that but you would have had a ch definitely a checkmating net there regardless mm -hmm. of what he did he just Once made he it took a little the easier that the f file, that yeah was just crushing. he made mm -hmm. it easier for you there so yeah awesome let's jump into another game perfect understood and you said the the knight to f7 sack isn't good unless you basically have a knight and a pawn and you can immediately Yeah, unless it. you know that you're going to get material. You usually don't want to sacrifice right out of the opening. Especially, mm -hmm. it's usually, if you are going to, the more normal one is like an e4, e5 to sack your bishop on f7 or f2 is the more normal line for sacrificing out of the opening. It's usually not gotcha. the knight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very interesting. Because that knight is usually what you want to end up using for like check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, pieces are good here. Pieces are good. Yeah. Okay. I just always want trades. That's just who okay. I am. Okay, I'm gonna try to orchestrate some. I'm getting you a and knight. I'm gonna push sure. Harry down the board. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting you a lot of stuff. 
I can get you a queen. Well, how is it? Well, no, no, no. I, then I'm going to get a shepherd. So, mm -hmm. do that. And now I want to. I think with a pawn, I can put a pawn on g2. So, let's look at the queen. Yeah, queen trade might come here. I probably should have said that a little earlier. That's okay. I think. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to sack my queen, actually, so watch out. All right. Um, my I'm going queen's to... coming off here, too. Maybe a move for you would be like bishop at b4, just to cover. Bishop to b4. Yeah, bishop at b4, just to cover d2 threats and in to case also he threaten. Takes and my king leaves. Yeah, and then if he takes on uh, d4, then knight at d3. Knight to d3, defending the bishop, threatening queen e7, checkmate. Exactly. It's just like Perfect. add threats on. The... So you got to take with the bishop, otherwise. Yeah, he'll, definitely. He'll, not. he'll mate you and do scary things. Yeah, definitely. Things. That, that I'm beginning to yeah. get a, a better feel, not to weaken squares like mm -hmm. b2. Yeah. So his idea would be to play. Queen takes d4 and then knight at e4. That would have been his idea if you hadn't mm -hmm. defended. I can't take the knight here, so I'm going to depart. Yes. D1, yeah, D1. exactly. So you have like good intuition on this. That's exactly where your queen should go. Good, but I mean, decent. Knight takes e3, yeah. I might even play queen at e2. So right now the threat your opponent has is knight at e2 to take on c3 is going to be a mating threat for you. But thankfully um, I have no knights on the board. That's excellent. Yes. If he takes my knight, I... Would I take back, or uh, do I play queen queen knight e2? If he takes your knight with his knight? With his knight. Oh, you just take that. You just take it. Okay, just and then after you take with the queen, like, two. bishop at d2, and you're so safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to think for a moment. Basically, I have a Berlin. <laughs> 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 All right, so... My board is a little bit suspicious because he's going to probably try to get a knight by, I don't know, he's going to try and force a knight somehow mm -hmm. by attacking f7 with his queen. So I got to try Can you castle to or is that not a good idea? <laughs> Castling is... Mm. <laughs> Castling is very dangerous, actually. Very dangerous. Because he'll go queen at a8 and I only and I have four knights in hand. Well, now knight doesn't really mate you anymore, actually. Knight should be fine, but it is Well, still yeah, kind but of knight, bad. he puts a knight on e2 and then I go king d2, I guess. Yeah, well, his main threat actually is I think he can mate you with queen takes c2 here. Wait, what was the last move that was played? Knight knight takes knight on c4. Did he What did he play? He played pawn at a3. He put a pawn on a3. Okay, yeah. yeah. So knight takes c4 is a bit risky because his idea is any square around your king that's not protected mm -hmm. uh he can just sacrifice his queen on and then attack you i see I'll and see. i can okay. and i'm down time so he can force pieces sadly okay we'll see. which is what's about to happen here but i don't know if he's gonna realize that he should sacrifice mm -hmm. his um his queen we'll see what he does he did all right so take that just take uh, take everything. Take, I can take it, yeah. I don't think there's... Yes. Oh, yeah, there is. Queen, oh, okay. queen at d3. Ah, oh, shoot. I may. Expose my king there. Mm-hmm. So the, the only thing there was knight takes c4 just allowed him to sacrifice his queen on c2. So mm -hmm. that's the only... Uh... And that's a, that's a lesson for me because I'm... Obviously, when I play real chess, somebody blunders a knight like this, I'm very mistrustful of attacks. And it's hard for me to realize a move like queen takes c2 is just escaped my field of vision because mm -hmm. I forget that he has another queen and he can give up a whole queen. Yeah, that's what's so crazy about it is they can just like sacrifice anything for mate. Understood. So caution and don't leave squares around my king exposed. Mm -hmm. Just when they have that much material, usually it's totally fine. But if they mm -hmm. have a queen, then you gotta you cannot leave any holes open. Gotcha. Think of a queen trade potentially. That's fine. Queen trade might also her. happen here, actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. Put a pawn on h3. Okay, I'm gonna play knight. So nice oh took. crap! I missed. I missed knight f3 though. If he had knight taken and then rook at f1, king takes knight d2. Mate would have been great, but alas. Uh, 
Hmm. I'm at a huge. Mo okay, I have e5. Maybe this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I, I'm still I'm my check three. Yeah. I am. Oh wait, no, my bishop. I am. I am frozen. <laughs> I am frozen in my position. I'm very cu not sure what to do here. I might just go pawn at b2. Yeah. Okay. Rook's gonna be fantastic if you can ever get it. Rook. Um. Well, I'm gonna have to sack my queen. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Do how are we on time? We're down a lot, but okay. oh, uh oh, he's got oh, crap. taking. I just promotion and another queen. What am I doing? I was gonna take on g two. Okay, just uh. remain calm. Just remain. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I actually have mate, but we're down time. If we can, if you can get up on the clock and not get mated somehow. Yeah. Wait, go queen at queen. Oh, I was gonna say queen at d three maybe. Queen at d three might have tricked better. him. Might have it might have tricked him. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Ah, down Made too much up. time. King D1, Queen E1, King C3. Yeah. Okay, I need to play faster. <laughs> I, no, that was me. I was, I was frozen for a moment. It took me too long to find like a good follow-up. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I feel like I keep exposing myself somehow. And that was just a chess bone, right? It allowed uh, this idea with a fork. Mm-hmm. And remember, you can play moves like pawn at e5 there. Oh, okay, I already have a pawn. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, okay, peace is coming. Mm-hmm. Do I take the knight or the... I'm gonna take the knight. Alright. Getting me a lot of loot here. I'm gonna say no queen. No queen, got it. Thanks, and also no knight. For just one You can move. sack for a knight. Okay, if he sacks, it's fine. Um, I'm go I can ward him off. Okay. <laughs> Bishop E8. <laughs> Bad E8. <laughs> oh my gosh. But okay, I'm gonna let him sack. And I just have zero fear. <laughs> yeah, he did. He decided not mm -hmm. to. All right, so just no fear. queen, and I'm completely safe. Okay. Yeah, queen is um, definitely not on top. Queen trade. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get you either a queen or a rook. All right. You could get several knights in return. Is that okay? Uh, yes. Just no queen. Okay. I'm about to get you some pieces over here too. Okay, I'm attacking with my queen, but I won't give it up. Yeah, I have. I a, promise. Uh, his queen is forced, pretty much. Oh, maybe not. It's almost forced. Or actually, it is forced. He, it was forced. He can't go oh, there. Oh wow! Knight, knight, can't go that way, buddy. Can't go to. E2? That's an illegal move. He starts sacking. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's just nasty. I was that like, is just nasty. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure his queen's first here. I don't know about that one. That is just nasty. And if you would have taken your knight, queen, a queen, a g2 mate. Yeah, exactly. If he had taken gotcha. my knight instead here, then the queen drop on g2 would be mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, showing the chat. All right. Get this guy again. Is the move h3 okay to stop pawn at h3? Uh, yeah. That, it looks good that in actually, your position. Because I'm annoyed with this constant pawn at h3, and then it's like, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I can get away with castling here specifically. Yeah, you look safe. Take this one. I'm gonna do some weird trade over here. Yeah, I think he keeps putting a pawn on a four. Um, Queens are coming. Watch out! Watch out! Okay. Try to be safe. Mhm. Mm yeah. Nice move. <laughs> I like I like this king position here. Mhm. Mm okay. Might have to sack a lot of pieces too. I think I can get away with taking that. I don't see anything. Okay, once, okay, if I take, he doesn't have knight on h4, knight on f4, I take it, so. Yeah, you seem to have your squares covered. Just be careful. Yeah, no, I'm jinxing. Maybe a move <laughs> like knight at h4 is good. Yeah, but also, reinforce. Yeah, so you're in a bit of a dicey situation, but he can't really do pawn at e4, because you can take, and then you have pawn at d7 threats. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. So we played pawn on g4. I can take and go rook h1, maybe. Okay, well, whoa, 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 wait. That's a free bishop. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, I'm going to say no queen, no rook. Uh, no let, queen, let's no find rook. a threat for you. So in this kind of position, mm -hmm. well, actually, maybe it's not a good idea. How about idea. takes g4 and pawn on h3? But then he could no. take it, like yeah. queen at g4. <clears throat> pawn on e2? I don't know. Let me think, let me think. Mm-hmm. Possibly just go queen at h2. Queen, queen at h2. h2. Yeah, queen at h2. Just, and then after he mm -hmm. takes on h3, just step down to g1. Okay. Okay, now you can take g4. And pawn go at pawn h3. at h3. No, no, no. Don't, no. Oh, whoops. Because, uh, oh, okay, he didn't take it. You're fine. Yeah, you can go uh, uh, knight takes, yeah. Yeah, you're, this this should be safe for you. No, I am no, getting I into a to... little bit of dicey waters. So I'm gonna say no knight, but no we're up knight. a bunch okay. of time, so you can also. I'm gonna I'm gonna say actually uh, sit for a moment. Okay. Don't move. Yes. Sure. I'll get safe and try and get some fun stuff happening here. Hopefully. At some point on my board, I can play chess too. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. So. You yes yeah that's true. Oh whoa whoa knight buddy eights, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Whoa, buddy, I don't know about that way. Oh, my God, he casts it. He's like, where are you going? <laughs> it's like, I don't think you can go that way. That's crazy. That was funny. How many times have you made it to someone who's castle with, like, a knight on you, too? A to be honest, two? that might be the first one. <laughs> I'm not sure if they've seen this one before. That's great. That's hilarious. So, uh-huh. Queen mm -hmm. on h2, I really like that, bringing the beef to defend. Yeah, exactly. In positions like that, it's just king safety is everything. And when your partner's mm -hmm. attacking, just staying safe, like, you don't even need to worry about attacking anymore on your board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, knight's good, I'm gonna say. Knight is good? Yeah, I'm gonna do some right. interesting things over here. I can sack my queen on f7. Knight would be... Okay, he defended against it. I was getting excited there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, free knight. Free knight sounds good. Okay, yes. Perfect. Got me some knights. It's beefing up. So I'm just going to try and break the pin on my knight here. There we go. Should be good. I'll go knight to e5, threatening queen takes f2 if he takes. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna play the crazy move, rook takes g3. <sighs> I feel like I have attacking ideas here, but I can't quite put mm -hmm. my Okay, no knight, no knight, no knight. Oh, whoa, we're down no time. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna take with my queen, and now knight's fine. Okay. But no queen, I'll say. No queen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna give my queen up. Thanks. Uh, is that, okay. Another knight might be coming, so be warned. But it looks like okay. Yeah. So he he's hunting for my queen. Queen hunting. I, I should be fine, but I even mean, with a queen. No, didn't say that. No. <laughs> didn't say that. Yeah. Queen. I can <laughs> play queen sure to four. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my queen. I'm, my king is in a bit of a dicey situation, but. Ah, you're fine. It's all fine. Yeah, just like. Mm. Knighted. <laughs> oh god, mm. on F3 or something. Knighted maybe H4. Maybe just. Maybe? Okay, you gotta watch out, because if he takes, then rook at e1 will mate you. So mm -hmm. possibly just go. Okay, whoa. Um, okay, go this way. Gotta effectively king walk. Uh, maybe go. What do you think of knight at h4? I was thinking about that. Um. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Not, not sufficient. Yeah, knight knight at h four. Let's let's do that one, and then you can take on g two with the bishop. Okay. Yeah, and then after takes takes your rook covers e e one, so you're not gonna. Yeah, and it. I can run to d one. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, this looks fine. Yeah, I didn't nice. think he was gonna go knight f three. It didn't look too great. So yeah, you okay. can just Mighty retreat the three. knight back. H four. You just knight wanna knight. try to keep g two covered if you can. And mm -hmm. Try to hold that queen. Wait, no knight, no knight, no knight. Okay. Uh, we're just, well, he can you get know what, the knight, the knight's that's fine. Never knight mind. Fine. Yeah, who needs a queen? Just no two knights, if you can avoid that. No two, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think one knight um, is the maximum he's going to get getting in here. Yeah, and still don't give a queen, please. Okay. Right. Whoa, buddy, whoa, 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 whoa. Rook whoa. takes g2, oh my I know, God. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, like, <laughs> oh calculating. God. I'm like, huh? 
pretty sure there's something going on here. I haven't. And just got oh, hold that's... on to your life. Can't go that oh way. Oh my, but... that's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. That that's was incredible. Great. Just gotta hang so on. His mistake. He made a single move that wasn't checking. That yeah, was he should have not ever stopped checking me. So before I mean, we. I was pretty safe. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no way he can try and mate me without a queen. And mm -hmm. it doesn't look like you're giving one, because your opponent's not going to get any pieces to drop Did any, I play anymore. badly in the opening? I felt like I was attacking, and then all of a sudden it kind of evaporated, and I couldn't quite find a mm -hmm. way. What opening to, did you play? Uh, it was e4. It was an alakine. Um, okay. And then I played knight f3, knight c3, and I put another pawn on d5 early, and he kind of gave okay. up a knight. Yeah. So sometimes when you're, like, doing that, it might be even a better idea to, like, maybe drop pawns on e6. Like, you don't always want to take the knight, especially if it's on c6. It sometimes you want to attack more than you want free, or knights for, because often in doubles chess, knights for pawns is not even a bad trade t uh -huh. in the opening too much for your partner, because you have to remember any pieces you lose, your partner's also having to deal with that with their opponent getting the piece. But gotcha. knight for pawn isn't usually a big deal. But sometimes you gotta weigh uh, aggressiveness over material taking. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you could try playing a little more aggressively. Okay, I'm gonna make a conscious effort to do that. More aggressive. Yes, okay. so aggressive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, the word, I live by that in doubles chess, my gosh. I live by that in, uh, in, in chess, but somehow it's not translating yet. It but will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sure make an will. effort here. I'm gonna go tank friends. Um. Yeah, that looks aggressive. And now you could even take the knight in like knight e4. The idea is when you have this sort of setup, you want to um, really like get in on those dark squares. So you can just okay. like take f6 and then I'm gonna try and get you uh, like a knight of g2 would be good or pawn at g2. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a pawn at uh, g7. If you if you were to get a rook, like you can go pawn at g7 and I'm gonna try and get you a rook for f8. A rook on f8. Yeah. yeah. There you oh go. my god, you did. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, and yes. Okay, so you can take that actually. This is oh, bad. Oh, and I put a knight on g7. You want a knight on g7, exactly. And I'm oh, which you're gonna get to. Because gonna get for you. Here you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got him by the clutches here, but. Um, hey, whoa, buddy, whoa! I don't know about that one. Oh, and you, I can get you a rook. So wait, no, you're gonna want to go like pawn at e5 and just make more threats. Okay. Just and I got the, you a queen. Keep the, the pedal. I got some uh, pedal exactly. on the guy. I can't never, talk never let up. So now you have multiple threats. You have like bishop at g, uh, d6. Now I'm going to have some fun. Okay. Yeah. Big whoop. So you're threatening both taking f6 and bishop and at d6. Yeah, exactly. at d6. So even queen at d6 is okay. And I'm going to go uh, g5. Oh, yes. You're not too shabby yourself here. <laughs> yeah. Getting I in. Oh, say, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this, I uh, think you this made it before me. You. I needed yes, a single pawn. Your helm's knight, I am. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Both fighting for, like, being aggressive here. Mm hmm. Alrighty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna randomly give up a knight here for no real reason. Maybe you, yeah. So you don't want to play moves like pawn at f6. You don't want to play too uh -huh. passively because okay. it's all about, like we said, being aggressive. So initiative. when mm -hmm. you when you play passively, it's it just it uh, it they'll still be able to get the initiative no matter how much you really defend. And right. Because I feel the, like, the strong yeah. offense just crashes through at some point. Yeah, at some point it will. And if you don't have like your counterattack options, then it's a little it's tricky. Yeah, which is exactly mm -hmm. what's happening. Yeah, um, and I also, yeah, if you could take any pieces, that'd also be very helpful. Like a pawn, maybe? I can maybe. take pawns. Yeah, pawns are good. Because, yeah. yeah. And we're going to have to play a little bit faster, because they're up on the clock. So okay. let's see if we can make up some time here. Okay, And he's gotcha. going to try and mate me, which is a little scary. I'm going to try to play a little faster. Try to get you stuff. And I'm going to try to not get me. I got you a rook. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. That is definitely very helpful. Right here. All right, so I could just take, I'm going to take here. Queen out e1, okay. Knight, knight would be interesting, but... I'm just having zero fear. I'm like, you know what? I'm definitely getting mated here, but that's fine. 
Another heavy. I can give you more heavies. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. That was no, 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 Oh no. my god. I, I'm, I not, I'm not. I'm not giving king. check. I'm not giving check. I thought you were. I thought. I'm sorry. I misread the situation. It's okay. Um, uh, I'm 100 percent made it in like two moves, but he's not playing it yet, so he's leading me to his false sense. Are we of up on? No, we're not up on the clock. No. Yeah, this I'm is where you got to start chessing, maybe. Yeah. Okay, time to play some chess over there. Okay. I am so mated, it's not even funny. Okay, I'm actually attacking here, but... I'm just mated in two if he sees it. No, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. No rook, no rook. Okay, rook is coming in. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry, this is totally bad. Oh, wait, wait, step up and go pawn at h2. Just quickly, quickly, let's just see if we can trick him. Ah, uh, never mind. It's too okay. nah. Mating, yeah. My bad, my bad. I gave too many heavies. Yeah, yeah. No, I should have said don't trade as well. Communication is key. So yeah, to chat like that game, we basically just played a little bit too slow, uh, mm -hmm. and didn't really communicate well on the whole trading mm -hmm. stuff. Gotta be speedy. Okay. Gotta be speedy. Hmm. Your pieces are good again. Yeah, queen mates. <laughs> All right, we'll see what I can do. Um, that's interesting. Okay, I can probably get you the queen now. Oh my goodness! That we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, should I keep moving? Oh, keep the queen. Oh my god, it's me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they they yeah. had a bit of a communication error that time. <laughs> as soon as I played aggressively, it's interesting because I also can play faster because that's my normal style. Mm-hmm. So it's very important, I think. This is like the biggest lesson I'm learning. No, like pawns to f6. Yeah, don't need to play pat. Like you don't need to play like defensive like that. Mm -hmm. It's all about being aggressive. Plus, it suits your style as well, of course. It does within reasonable limits, but. Mm hmm. Yeah, you got to know when to attack and when to defend. But, yeah. Okay. All right, pieces are good here. Okay, trying. Position looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna start attacking too. I can orchestrate mass trades, but I'm gonna be tricky over here. Try and mate my opponent. In a I'm way gonna that... give you. I'm gonna get you an army right now. Oh, that, that's I'm amazing. gonna get you an army. Well, okay, maybe I that was slightly false. Okay, I'm gonna get you a rook for free. You're gonna get me an army. You're getting the <laughs> army. I can get you two rooks. And I'm going to try to checkmate my opponent in ways he doesn't expect me to. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, so here's one the least expected way to mate him here. I can give you another one. Alright, I, on I, I found a way. Oh my god. Uh, and maybe, you don't even need another rock. Maybe I haven't found a way, actually. I'm going to stoke the fires a little bit here. Okay, wait. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it. Oh my god, this is incredible. What's going on right here? Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, Bishop B5, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, Four Bishop, whoa. mate. <laughs> How did you come up with so many pieces? It's like in the hands of a master. It's like somebody fed me an just... army. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I mean, the beginning of the attack was... Yeah. That was incredible. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, I am going to take the knight here. Yeah, I think I might have lagged for a second here, but we're good. No knight, if you can hold it. Okay, no, no, I can hold the knights. Check. Still no knights? Uh, it's fine. I'm. Oh, whoa. Okay, whoa. <laughs> I might have made a slight error here. I'm fine, though. Don't worry about um, it. I, I just I'll might have hung that. some pieces I shouldn't have hung. <laughs> yeah, he's also my opponent, so. so. It's okay. I'm going to get a counter attack, and I'm going to mate him. Just you wait. I've lost like two pieces, but it's gonna be fine. No knights would be would be nice. Sure. Um, I mean, there's one on pre, but you know. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I can sack. Well, he might just be getting a rook. Well, you can just step to yeah f1 and you're fine. Okay. And here's a queen. It's just I was more concerned that he was getting a rook. Okay, or a queen. I mean, but but yeah, you're getting many knights. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. F1, no, I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Oh, no, for me, on my board, it's a little dicey. Oh, okay. He's going to go queen at d6. I needed a... Oh, whoa. He, no, he's forcing a queen. Watch out. I said I don't move. Oh, crap. Okay. I forgot how to move. We, so watch out. He's going to, like, spike check you. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he didn't okay, spike. Okay, knight at f3. So just don't move for a second. Let's just make sure mm -hmm. we have a proper defense for you. Because he's got, like, a lot of threats here. I think you're going to have yeah. to move the knight that you have existing from d2 to f3, if I'm not okay. mistaken. Right Let's now? See. Cal just take take your time, calculate it, see if you think I'm if I'm right. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see. I don't see here. mates. I don't see mates. All right. Just don't see any mates. Okay, you're also. Sorry. Yeah, I should have mate in like one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to avoid. Uh, I'll have mate in like the nearest future. Uh, where is it? Where's the mate? Um, nice. This looks right. Okay. Yeah. So you watch out, he's threat he wants to go like queen at E E uh E one, right? So maybe just go queen at E two and stay safe. Oh queen no no no, go queen at queen at D two, queen at D two. Queen at D two. Yeah, yeah. You just want to be careful of um Yep. And Queen takes? Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting to get there, but I need one more pawn. I'm gonna get it too. In a moment. All right, we're down uh, time, so it's one, a little uh -huh. bit of a uh oh situation. Okay, but it's okay. I have uh, I have some things going on here. Maybe if he doesn't drop a pawn, oh, I dropped a pawn. No. So if he take, he's gonna stall, or he's gonna play yeah, King G one. He's gonna stall. I totally messed this up. I definitely had main missed it. No problem. Oh, but he has a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think I just had to play like pawn at f2 and then push e2 and I had like mate in three or something. Whatever. Are you gonna get mated if you move your king around? I'm gonna try not to, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely get mated if I move. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is bad. Um, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Mm -hmm. I have tricks. Let's play, let's play a trick. Ooh. <laughs> Do you have anything? No. <laughs> it's, it's, it looks way better than it is. Um, Maybe King C7 and pray. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> There's, uh, I'm gonna do this one. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is a tough time. Tough time. 93. Um, um Thinking this one. This one, yeah. Check. Maybe, like, maybe I can get a draw. Maybe I can get a draw. Oh, wait. Rook H1. Rook check, H1. Check, check. Oh my god. Come on, I need to get it. Oh, come on, pun mates. I'm gonna lose my mind right now. <laughs> We're getting there on the clock, but um. You know, you know, it's a solid effort, I'd say. No, the problem is he's gonna force a queen on your board the moment I do anything that's not a check. Mm-hmm. Unless I can find any way to trick him here, but I don't see. I anything. mean, G six nine f seven, G six nine G four. You have will take a couple seconds off his clock, but I'll go from G seven. But you should try it. You should try to like blitz it out and hope hope that in the madness they. You know what? This is probably my best way to try to live against a queen. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Oh my god! I blundered a queen too. Oh, hard. I need a. Okay, that's. You know what? My bad. I miss mating four. Uh, no problem. Ugh. Yeah, these attacks can be hard to, to finish off. Yeah, and I, I need to get more used to, like, talking while attacking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, yeah, that was just, like, me missing mating four, so we should have won that for those in chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Aggressive, aggressive. Yeah, watch out. He's gonna take on f7. I'm giving an okay, knight. I didn't knight realize. Now. I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here. You can also go bishop b5 for now, if necessary. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's my true. Know to do it, but <laughs> no, you're, you're right. I was just taking a sip of water. But yeah. Not that's that's a good strategy. <laughs> yes. No <laughs> yeah. coffee needed. Just infinite energy. But um. Yeah, it's a good strategy to keep moving to stay up on the clock if you can hold mm -hmm. pieces that your partner needs you to hold. So it's a good strategy. I think that's one thing I'm going to try to do is, is just play a little mm -hmm. bit faster, even if I'm not confident. Um, sure. Yeah, the speed is important. Speed can make so up for... we can for... have that stalling power. Mm -hmm. And exactly. Like, speed definitely does make up for, like, any inaccuracies that a player may make. 
I just mouse slipped. I was about to. Well, okay, he allows it anyway. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get you a strong attack here. You should go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you. something Natural. you too. Exactly. Yeah, I'll get you a pawn. Or for a lot of awesome. time. Playing fast. Hang on. I'll just take this one. Because why Thank not? You. Oh, buddy. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> what, are you, what, what you doing there? What you doing? <laughs> that I can see. Oh, my gosh. You're nice, nice. <laughs> okay, now the big guns. Yeah, here we go. Fast, 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 Daniel. Play fast. I can occasionally play Bullet Gamer, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. I've heard you're pretty speedy. <laughs> Who <laughs> wouldn't know? <laughs> um, pawn's good. Pawn, I can sack for it. Should yeah, I sack yeah, for go, it? Yeah, sack for it. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna bully my my guy here a little. Do it, do it, do it. I like bully, bully. Uh, I like bully. Yes. <laughs> Pawn is really good again if you can get it. I can one. sack like the house for it, but. I can also just push d7 here. It's very interesting. I mean, I can get you a pawn next move. <laughs> if it mates. I wouldn't say it mates. But I Bishop say might be coming too. Bad. Okay, I'm just gonna push d7. I'll see what I can do mm -hmm. here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pawn at e yeah, wow. <laughs> this position he just, going here. He has no fear. Like, pawn at e7 is everything. I yeah, have. queen d6. I mean. Let me think. I think I might go. You're, he's. Oh, okay, you're a nice defending. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna there, allow myself scared. to get made in a one, let's hope. That would be. Not great. <laughs> hmm. Okay, wait, I have a trick. <laughs> oh, you're gonna promote. Oh, you're nasty. That's just nasty. That is yeah. incredibly nasty. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Sh showing is Showing this scary. guy who's your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be tricky. That's like one of the best things to do in like doubles, mm -hmm. is just be tricky. Tricky. Because one thing, thing about tricks, cross, yeah. So. Exactly. That's why. That's what I was gonna say. Is like tricks are not just good because it's like tricks, but it's also because often your opponent will have to take extra time. Yeah. So then we can get up on the clock. So I'll just I'm, play. The I'm gonna get you a lot of stuff. Soon. Fantastic. Um, for sure. Okay. There's a bishop. All right. Pawn is everything. Okay. I mean, bishop e4. Yeah. I'm, I can sack for a pawn on the next move. All right. And I'm gonna think of another trick. We're even on the clock. Yeah. A trick here. I'm getting you upon next move. Working. Alright, I might just make a different type of attack here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for G7. No, oh, he doesn't want me to. Okay, well, pawn's still good now, at least. Okay. Like a pawn and a bishop. And we're up on. Here's yeah. a pawn. Here's two pawns. Okay, one more. I need one more pawn. Okay. <laughs> Try. Um, I wish that there was like a weird sack I could do here. Like I can sack my queen for it on the next move. Maybe just go bishop b4. I don't know if sacking a queen is going to be the best right. way to go about it. Okay, whoa. I really feel like there should be a trick here, but there isn't. What do you have? On a knight. Oh. Can you go? Yeah. Kind of want to do you something. Should, you um, should take some time off the squat because we're exactly even. Alright, I'm going to. This isn't even a tricky move. Oh. I'm, I'm going to get you a pawn. Unless he goes that way. Um, I need stuff to defend. Here. Oh, whoa, buddy, whoa. Okay, my opponent's gonna flag. My opponent flags, but... Right, I was, <laughs> oh I was almost I see the carnage ready. that's happening there. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff going on over here. <laughs> but we played fast. That was that was awesome. Mm. Um, I liked how fast we played there. It gave yeah, us such good. power. Yeah, I think I think we might just have a slight edge on uh, on speed chess here. We're going to take a wild guess that we'll probably win some flag battles. Ooh. 
Knight would be awesome. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'm sacking for a knight. Okay, I'm gonna get you this knight. Excellent. In a second. No big hurry. I mean, we're up on time. Yeah, we're up on a lot on the clock. Okay, I'll just take. Thank that you. One. Perfect. It's not like amazing, but um, I have I'm making some some inroads here. Get some stuff going on. Yeah, maybe you want to. Take on C2, maybe, is a good move Ooh, here. Ooh, interesting. Take on C2. Yeah, just to try and open his king up more. And then, like, bishop at E2, maybe. An idea bishop well. at E2, I like it. And then you take... And then you have pawn at F3 at the end. Mm -hmm. Even now, or bishop at Yeah, pawn at, at F3. D3. You want to just take the queen away from the C2 square so you can put a pawn on C2. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ooh. All right, so he doesn't want to allow you to do that. Pawn at E2, maybe? Yeah, pawn at E2 is a move. Um, C5 is interesting, but knight of B3 would be nice. Castle. Yeah, let's... We're up a little bit on the clock. There's a lot of things you could do. You could also... You know what? I could get you that knight. You want to mm -hmm. do something funny? Oh, no. He's not going to let me get the knight. I could go C5 and sack wait, wait. on C5, no, and that just, would intensify. Let's see what my opponent does here. Let's see what my opponent okay, does here. Okay, okay. We're, we're, yeah, we're if up my opponent bit. doesn't move the knight on H4, go bishop at E4 as fast as you can. Okay. If he does not move. If he does not move this knight that's on H4. Gotcha. Okay, he did. Uh, Stay, same thing, I assume. Yeah, I couldn't try and trick. Okay, you know, they're probably not going to fall for this kind of trick. It's fine. Can I still do it? <laughs> you know what no, you could probably. do is you could also go pawn at c5, takes, takes, and rook takes, d2 is an idea. Yeah, that was that was an idea. Or That's if, what you if said? You get, yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay, let me just try to clear off a little bit of stuff here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to bully your opponent here. Okay. It's bullying 101 with Helm's Knight. Pawn at B7. Pawn at where? B7. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna. No bishop, maybe. No bishop. No bishop? I mean, there's. Oh, yeah. Oh, know. and there, there it is. Pawn at A7. Oh my god, this is good. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being mean. Too. I'm gonna put here. Nice. Alright, whoa, check. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, maybe Are stuff you... is good. Okay. Maybe I just take that and promote again. <laughs> I can give you a rook. Um. Yeah. I mean. Oh, my yeah. King rook is and like two pawns will mate. Wait. You got to be careful though. You got to be careful. Maybe just I can like. Castle. No, you don't need a castle. Maybe... Okay. Maybe <laughs> just knight takes c5. Knight takes c5. Okay. Yeah. Pawn mates. Clear up. Clear off the cobwebs here. Oh, you got made in one, yeah? Yeah, I need just one pawn, and I'll be... We're, I'll give literally you a any bishop. Piece. I'll give you a bishop next yeah. move. And any piece nice. in the world. Don't worry. Excellent. We're getting better. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a two-second pause after this game, just to go over a couple things with anyone else joining I'm getting in. better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're, you're, you're just a god. Oh, did the game end? <laughs> yeah, they, you, they were fine. I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, awesome. I'm just going to... down the clock. Yeah. For all new people joining in, um, and also just everyone, I wanted to say a couple things before we continue. I wanted to tell you all that who anyone out there who is not watching the Speed Chess Championship, you should really check it out. Eight of the top Speed Chess players in the world are participating, and some awesome matches are coming up, so I'm going to show you a few of those matches right now that you can see here. So yeah, definitely check this championship out if you haven't yet. It's going to be pretty epic. And mm -hmm. for those just joining in who are new in chat, we are playing doubles on this show, Doubles for Dummies, where we basically are teaching viewers and ourselves <laughs> how to play mm -hmm. uh, and improve and going over games we play and analyzing and I'm just going to go over the rules of the variants for those who have not seen doubles chess before. It's also known as Bug House. It's a chess variant played on two chess boards by four players in teams of two. Normal chess rules apply except that captured pieces on one board are passed on to the teammate on the other and as captured pieces are passed to your teammate 
They have the option of using them on any available square that is unoccupied. Can't place pawns on automatic queen squares, so no eighth or first rank. And available pass pieces are displayed on the side margin of the board. So yeah, that's that. Are you ready to continue? Ready. Let's keep Come going. On. All right. Let's keep crushing. <laughs> Do this. Okay. My opponent said, holy. I want to try the strategy of getting up a lot on the clock, and then I'll go on a vacation and watch you play chess. All right. Sounds good. I'm, I'm ready for a vacation. <laughs> and I, oh, right. see? Yeah, this is, I can do that. <laughs> this is a good example where pushing the C-pawn in the opening is a not a good idea, as I have oh gotten my God. in. What is going on there? What, <laughs> what carnage? Don't push the C or F-pawn in the opening. Just don't okay, do it. I'd your vacation has been cut short. Oh, my <laughs> vacation's cut short. No. All right. No, good, nice job. Nice job. That was a nice mate. Smothered. <laughs> All right. No queen, please. Okay. I'm just going to do one of this. This is like a line where you can sack on f7 and get away with it, sort of. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of players will still consider it to be bad if you're not getting pieces, <laughs> which in this case he's not. So, and usually mm -hmm. knight c3 and d3 will be played before this sack a lot of the time. So, he's a little underdeveloped as well. So it's not going to uh -huh. work out too well for him. Alrighty, we're up on the clock. some point I'm going to be going on a vacation. <laughs> yeah, you can basically go on a vacation already. Oh, let me win you like one rook or something and then I will. Cool. Go off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got plenty of time, so... All right. I would not want to have to play chess against you right now. <laughs> Down on the clock in doubles. No, no, no. Man, you're getting a lot of stuff too. All right, I don't know how to move. I forgot. You can, you can, you can go on your vacation. I'm going on vacation, guys. Let's, let's sit back and relax. I watch and learn. I even have another knight. I mean, this is actually fun chess. Yes. Uh, I blunder. I start by blundering knight on h4. So, um, <laughs> All good. So. This is how I. How much are we up on the clock? A lot, like thirty seconds. Okay. My opponent is. Uh, he's playing quite well. I have to and I can take your queen if you can ever like have it be mate and one. I might be getting mated, but um, I don't think I am because now it's chess. Now it's just chess. Now it's just chess. But yeah, if you ever do have like queen being mate and one, I'll take it mm -hmm. whenever you are good with that. So let's just let him let him finish taking all my stuff. Now we just have a position. I'm worse, but. It is chess. Mm -hmm. so also, can... rook mates for me, but that's like a distant. Like I'm on I'll keep that right in now. a distant corner. Of yeah, my... just put that in like yeah, box like compartment away. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you have to call me off my vacation for that one. <laughs> <laughs> what this guy's rating? Seventeen hundred bullets. Okay. <laughs> Gotta check. <laughs> I don't think it matters. <laughs> no matter what is rating. Let me know if you want me to take you something. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. So I'm solidly worse, but uh, I usually am in the chess, so <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing terrible. He's playing extremely well, but um, <laughs> but uh, you know, he's weakening himself. Okay, here. C5 takes. Um, nice, nice. G4, G3. Mm -hmm. Queen D1, King G2. Okay, he's starting to collapse. <laughs> he's lost the rook. Excellent. That rook mates. But I, I'm in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to see we got the best of every world. We got your rook and I'm out of the upper rook, so. Yeah, it's challenge, it's challenge. Oh my gosh. E4, big rook. Oh, um, <laughs> this is looking good. This, <laughs> good things are happening. Okay. Alright, I'm down on here. the clock, so I might have to 
Oh, we're down the buff. Checkmate my opponent. <laughs> I'm up two rooks, so I will win, but it's a little while. Oh, you got a knight. Well, you you did your you definitely did your job over there. With my duty. <laughs> I, got, I have a kingdom here to my to my use. Okay. Wow, nice. Knight, knight of, well see, done. That's a good way. That was epic. Vacation. <laughs> this guy is playing so passively. Jesus. Oh wow. Does not look ideal. Hmm. My opponent is not here, sadly. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just playing. Okay, they just Yeah, you're just playing chess <laughs> over <fast>. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a bad that. thing. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just go right in. So I can get you on night. Uh, well, maybe later. You just gonna I thought I'm just gonna make it. The oh, sad fear. thing is fear. I can already see that's why this strategy is so tempting, is because when I have like ten extra seconds, I'm pretty reliably can win sometimes and chances. <laughs> mm-hmm. But let's see what your opponent does here. Oh, knight at h. I have some threats here for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, he trapped my queen. Oh, no, I have queen. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been crazy. Yeah, so if he if, if he if he moves his uh, knight, go pawn at e2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Gotta get in. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this. No knight, no knight. No knight? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can... Uh... You have a... A lot of stuff in on here. I'm gonna probably get your rook in a somewhat near future. I'm gonna try to hamstring him here. Oh, nice, nice. I like the threat. You can go maybe queen g4. Oh, heavy mates, but. What about queen g4? Okay. Oh, Let's see what nice, he does. And then if he blocks, you can go pawn it, pawn it. I mean, whoa, I mean, <laughs> knight at h3 and queen takes? Oh, man, I'm just getting into You're getting in. And queen, oh, knight mates. Queen, queen g2 four. would be mate. Yeah, I'll get you the knight. I'll get you the knight. I can stall for a little bit. I'm gonna go knight hunting. Here, how do I how do I force a knight here? Let me think. Get you a bishop. <laughs> That's a good. I could put it on g2 as a stop gap, but. No, I'm going knight hunting. Soon. I'm waiting for him to place a knight on b4. I'm trying to entice him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to do it though. Maybe he just doesn't see it at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, whoa. Oh, he did oh. it. Oh. Knight is knight c six ninety five yeah knight d eight. Oh, they just oh, lost. They, nice. they just lost hope. <laughs> <laughs> like nope, can't nope. Yeah, that's, again, mm -hmm. Can't take this anymore. Yeah. All right, playing some. Oh, that's not theory. Not supposed to really take on e six there. Oh whoa 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 free pawn. Oh, a lot of nice. trades in coming. Okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, knight's gonna be good here. I'm gonna try to get in an attack. I'm get, knight is coming for you on the next move. Mm -hmm. So since I'm up time, my idea here is just to try and attack my opponent, even oh. if I don't have that many pieces. But you know, I'm, I have to sack my queen. <laughs> yeah, knight's actually really good for me if you can get one. Without... I can get it on this move, but I'm almost made it. So no, you're, you're fine. Fine. Ooh, and we're up on clock, aren't we? We are up on the clock. Yeah, I'll, I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what we can do here. Check. Just beef up. I'm actually, I can give you mass trades. Is that good? Honestly, I don't need anything. Just okay. do whatever you want over there. I'm actually completely fine too. Nice, nice. Crushed. Awesome. Oh my god. That's dirty. Yeah, that's evil. Alright, I'm gonna try and speed up a little bit, get more time advantage. My opponent's mm -hmm. playing pretty I think fast it's working too. really well for us. Yeah, we're, we're usually up on the clock now, which is good. It's one of the best things to be. Castling is a turn. Yeah. No, you're fine to castle there. I think it's fine. Because, like, like I said, if you have, like, F5 open for a knight at F5 defense. Knight at F5 defends everything, yeah. Yeah, the whole idea is you want them to capture. After, like, pawn at H6 takes, bishop takes, knight at F5. If they take on F8, 
-hmm. then it's really good for you because after you recapture with the queen, you're just completely safe and all the squares are covered around I your see. king. I see. Yeah. So oh. they actually want to avoid, the, even though they could win a rook for a bishop, they want to avoid doing that. Their hope would be to be placing a pawn on g5. So after mm -hmm. you capture h6, you, they could recapture and keep trying to uh, have keep the control. Trying to put something but, yeah, on the, they want to have control of the dark squares around your king mm -hmm. there. So they, they prefer to not even take the rook. And a lot of the time, especially in the openings, rooks are not seen as that valuable as pieces to get for your partner. Mm hmm Interesting. Yeah. It depends on the position, but a lot of the time, they're not, they're not as great. Could you stall for just a second? Because I have, like, I have, I have an extra queen, All right. and he doesn't have anything, and I'm going to mate him. All right. I don't know more. how to move. I don't know how to move. Yeah, but no, no, like, my king is very unsafe if he gets anything, but I'm also crushing. Yeah. Yeah, you can so, you can do some chess things over there. Oh well, there you well, go. I, I already have. There you <laughs> go. Doubles chess things. Yeah, there. doubles chess things. <laughs> okay. Well done. Okay, no knights. Gotcha. Okay, we're fine. Not even knights are fine now. Uh, knights are really iffy here, so no knights if possible. Alright. A little bit exposed. Gotcha. This guy's going after me. Um, could you... No, anything mates me. I'm, I've am i screwed up really badly. Okay, could I do not give moves? anything. I, I, don't, I don't know how to give pieces. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no pawns, nothing. Uh, we, oh, I don't know how to give pieces. I don't know how to give pieces. <laughs> wow, you're literally... Wow, you're not giving him anything. I don't know how to give anything. <laughs> okay, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh I my God. sit, I sit, I sit. For just like two moves until I put a knight on f3 and a bishop on f2. Gotcha, and then gotcha. Really and we're up like an eon of time. So. Yes, yes. Now, these guys are not going to sit us out. They're down like 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just give me two more. I, he could have taken a free bishop, instead, he decided not to. Okay, knight here, and then it just beef things up with the bishop on like f2. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, it looks good to me. Staying safe. Okay, no, we're good. Mm -hmm. Bishop at f4 was also another idea. Oh, yeah, more, much more active. It's always great when you can make a move that attacks and defends at the same time. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna give you one more move, then I'm gonna take this free knight for you. Cool. There you go. And that it, that it, yeah, exactly. Nice. Yep. You're getting, getting together in. a bit of an instinct. Getting in. Just take on g7. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you can just take and run up to g3. Yeah. I'm not giving as anything. As long as he doesn't get heavies and stuff. I don't know how to give heavies. Oh, wait. Whoa. Did he just. Oh my god. That was a free knight on b5. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Could have taken a free Ooh. knight for you. Alright. Really? Do you wanna, yeah, take that, go bishop at, try to get, make a queen mate. Yeah. Um, yeah maybe um, like bishop at a... f4. Oh, I decided I, I don't care. That's fine too. Cause I can force you a queen. Queen would my mate. I'm gonna pre-move bishop at g7. Queen, I mean, I don't see a defense for him. He's gotta go rook g8. But um, then I, yeah, it takes. I'm unsafe here, but maybe Bishop at f8 is an idea. I was I took on f7 to play Knight at g6 potentially. We could also play chess. I mean, but I just want to like sacrifice my queen and try to checkmate my opponent at some point. Um, let me pre-move a couple moves and then try to get safe here. All right. Yep. Uh. Okay. Can I sack my queen? Um. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. You're fine. I'll be fine. It's yeah. Fine. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I I'm, I can get you. Um... Oh wow! Queen of G2. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta place oh, the right oh. pieces here. Yeah, don't worry. I don't know how to give things. Well, I might be given another queen, but I'm mated. But no, you're fine. I sit. I don't know how to move. No, just step up to, uh... Oh, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine, you're fine. And he flags as well, and you're mid. <laughs> nice. Getting in slowly. <laughs> Oof. 
That was that was crazy. Strong pair. Yeah. Takes this range. This one, wow. Oh, nice, nice, nice. How do I attack? Um, yeah, you probably want like pawns and stuff for e4, maybe. Yeah, pawn and e4 would be nice. Here you go. Thank you. And then pawn it up. Okay. Now let's try to just push or whatever. Nice, nice. I like that move. I can give a mass trade for you if you need. Sure. Trades are always fun. All right, I'm gonna place rooks on the board. Why not? All right, your position still looks pretty good. Yeah, um, I'm gonna... I'll try to get you more pawns for e4. <laughs> yeah, just keep attacking. Yeah, just keep attacking. Another pawn would be, or whatever, yeah. <laughs> I'll get you a bishop. Okay, bishop at e2 or something, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can, I can, let me play a little bit more conservatively here. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. I don't want to get mated. Mm-hmm. Pieces are really good for me, like bishops and knights. I'm going to try and find a way to get in here. Uh, are we down on the clock? Or are we? we are. I'm going to try and play a little faster. You can do some chess things over there, maybe. Yeah, I am I mean, I'm better in the chess, but okay, he's... Okay, now I'm worse. I'm in some trouble. I need some pieces. All right. Uh, let's see what I can I do. mean, heavy pieces made for me, basically. I have mm -hmm. a free attack if you can get me, like, a bishop or a pawn. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, thank you. Oh, whoa, whoa, be careful. Queen's coming, queen's coming, queen's coming. Okay, that's okay. I, I'm gonna keep checking. Oh, whoa, I'm actually mated. You are mated? No, 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 don't tell him. He doesn't know. Okay. He'll never see it. Shh. Okay. <laughs> don't. Okay, I'm in don't very big trouble here. here. Nobody mm -hmm. tell him. I'm, I'm actually not mated, but it's very close to mate. I'm in huge trouble as well. Um, okay, don't let queen mate you in one. Oh. oh, crap. Oh, crap. I didn't see that he can take it. Hard. Right, let's see if he finds it. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy, whoa! Oh, my God! <laughs> whoa, buddy, that's not the right one to take. <laughs> oh, that was epic. I mean, if you would have waited, like, a millisecond more, he <sighs> mates me in one. Why did he take my rook? He should take my queen. Amazing. <laughs> my queen, I didn't have mate in one threat. Oh my I god. I wasn't expecting that at all. I, oh, they're arguing. Now they're angry. Yeah, now they're real angry. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. How did we win that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna speed up. That game was over, but down a little bit too much on the clock. Nice. Yeah, aggressive play, best play. No bishop for a second. We're up time. You can. Uh, okay, I can stall. All right. Yeah, just wait a second. I just don't want to let him get. Rook is amazing, or queen. All right. It's. Not mating, but essentially huge attack. All right, I'm gonna get it. You can. Oh, queen would be. But watch out, he's getting a queen. Queen is. Oh, I'm gonna put it on f8, and he's. He can count his days. Oh yes, nice. Um, oh, oh yeah. That's a good no, you can still uh, play it. I think I'm gonna get you a knight in your left. Yes, knight, knight at g7 in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's mate. I'm mating. Yeah, knight at g7, sure. knight at e5. And... Yes, nice. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, nice attack. Thank awesome. You. Okay. All right. He's playing into some non theory here. Mm -hmm. Out of book. <laughs> You're letting you develop. Acquire quite the Acqu advantage in development. Quite developed. Yeah, I'm quite developed here. Well, that's a good explanation for chat. Yeah, the reason why this is not usually played this opening is because, even though he's up a pawn, on they're up a pawn on both boards and whatnot, I have a significant lead in development, which usually yeah, yeah. equals out. 
Well, it more than equals out. It's better for black. And you're getting a lot of pieces, too. Yes, splendid. And I'm going to um, give a queen here, so watch out. That's okay. Just Can no trade. knights would be nice. I mean, knight is not, not a design. Okay, knight is fine. Anything. And I'm perfectly safe. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, we are really up in time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're... Oh, man, he is busted. <laughs> He's royally busted. He's getting in trouble. Okay, what's the funniest way to do this? I'm gonna do bishop takes e3. Knight mates for me. I'm gonna sack a queen. Probable. If you can get me a knight, I'm mated, mating as well. Okay. But uh, don't go out of your way for it, like, mm -hmm. checkmate. So knight at e5, king and e7. Then, like, queen of 7 yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, do you have heavies? I do, I do. I'm gonna no. try to do some scary things over here. So I do one as oh okay. But I'll, I'll let me give you this knight. Let me give you this knight. Thank you. And that'll do perfectly for now. Awesome. Okay, went down. I guess you can just take. Well, I can keep going. Yeah, you can keep going. Meanwhile, I will find a funny way to mate my opponent. No. Hopefully. I'm gonna try to keep stoking the fire by supplying you with various goodies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sounds good. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to make this as crazy as possible. Right. Yeah, I have to say, it, I'm exposing myself a little bit. Okay, I'm about to get some bishops. I've sacked my queen business. just to get you another bishop. <laughs> this is actually an interesting I might get you here. another bishop soon. <laughs> my god. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I feel like there's uh, definitely like a faster way to do this, but I just want it to be extra. Oh, you're gonna put it on H4. Yeah. Nice. An there elegant, we go. an elegant finale. Yeah. <laughs> okay, strong. Yeah, I got some strong ops here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, no knights. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, he's not sacking. Okay. Bruja. Um, yeah, anything is fine. I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's pushing Harry. Oh man, he played no F6. Fear. Wow. My oh. opponent's really exposing himself. Oh, 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 oh buddy. <laughs> My I opponent's. Don't know. What do you What do you that need? One. Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna find a trick. Oh, I tricked him. Oh my God! Pot oh, a H2. beautiful knight on G1. <laughs> exactly. And I'm getting oh, you a he's knight. getting tricked. I'm getting I already knight. have a knight. I already oh, have a knight. Oh, you have it. Oh, my. and you promote to a knight. That's yeah. insane. <laughs> but how do you mate after King G3? I need a pawn or a knight to pawn? mate. Okay, I, w I can get you either in like a great right, amount. Right, right. Yeah, you beautiful. resigned. That was nice. They, tricky, they decided tricky. to throw the resistance a few times. They were like, nope. Yeah, and I had like a bunch more moves. I was if I don't get any peace, I just push C5. And what does he do? You're, Ken from Fix says to his opponent, you're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh the God. argument of fights. Do you play a lot of over the board by count? Or over the board double? Sometimes. There's a few players in Toronto. I wonder if um, there were ever like any big fights that break out at tournaments. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I haven't heard I told you not to do this. Yeah, oh, <laughs> just like this yelling, screaming fight. competitions. I'm sure there must be, because there's so many online. I mean, people are a little more polite in person i'd say but mm -hmm. i'm sure there must have been some fights 2500 okay. intimidated but we will manage no zero fear zero fear all right pawn is good um, okay I can, i'm getting you one cool just attack you at a nice position. Um, okay, I can get you, but no, I need to defend first. Mm -hmm. I'm. I mean, trades are coming. He's gonna get this craziness. My position is very. You can suspect. also. Um, can you sit for a second, or are we down on the clock? We're down. Because my opponent is attacking, but he has nothing, and I'm up a queen. So you can give him a rook. That's fine. Just if we can <laughs> get up on the clock here. Probably giving them a lot of things, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, so yeah. so safe. Safe plus solid. If you can get up on the clock, okay, I'm very close to being mated. Could we? No, you're safe. Th you're safe. You're safe. Okay. 
Don't worry. I, I won't move if you're mated. Uh, he's gonna get a pawn. That sucks. Because that means he's gonna get your queen, which is gonna That's hurt okay. Me. Then we can play chess. Alright, so just don't- maybe you actually don't move. Go up- yes, don't move if he goes rook at e8. Don't take it yet. Let me get okay. safe. I'll mate my opponent, don't worry. I'll find a okay. way. Okay, and we're up a huge amount, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, chess-wise, I'm not much worse. And Okay, they're digging themselves into a major hole here. So he wants, like, two knights to mate you. Knight at g6, knight at h7, knight at f5. Oh, wow. I can take the rook or should Yeah, I just sit? take that, take that. Now it's fine. I'm gonna find something to do over here if I can. If you want, um, we can, can you hold a knight? Here. Can you not give a knight for? I'm not giving a knight. For infinity I don't know how to give knights, as you say. Okay, right, I'm gonna go knight f8 because it looks funny. <laughs> okay. You but you don't know how to give knights. Knights are the last thing you know how to give here. Uh, could you sit for a second? It's not my move. So if he gets oh, okay. a knight, I'll be mated in one. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so no knights. Yeah, go pawn at f3 and nice. And now you can sit if you. Yeah, okay, just don't move for a moment. <laughs> Knight f8 on my board. He's so geeked. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah, oh, we're up like a ton of time. We are up a lot of time. Let's take advantage of it. Do I have mate if he... Well, I could take twice on g2 and then put a bishop on f3 if mm -hmm. I have it. Do I, can I give him some pawns? Okay, yeah. Yes. You're going to get some loot here. All right, just be careful. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Your position looks a little. Wait upon an F three. Uh, can you sit for like a couple moves? Yeah. Oh. Um, because I might be mating him. Okay, gotcha. In chess, just uh, and we're up ten seconds, so. All right, I don't know how let's... to move. Okay, I go down see... to D eight. Yeah, I don't. Oh wait, but well, then you have to go to E uh, eight. That's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. That's okay. um, he doesn't have any more pieces, so it's chess now. Yeah, exactly. And you know what happens when, when it's me against someone in chess? <laughs> oh, yes. Now I sit, <laughs> but, now I go on vacation. It's like vacation time. Okay, again. let's play some chess. I can force you a rook when you need it. Okay. Give me a couple more moves. And I'll find, I have mate too, if you ever want me to do that kind of thing. You seven rook up to I like that a pawn mates you. It's crazy. Yeah, anything mates you. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Basically. Good. Alright. Can I give queens and things? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, let we're me... down the clock. Yeah, yeah, you can do so. Oh, it's gonna mate me. Queens win. For me, it mates. Anything mates. Um, Anything mates. I can't take it because it mates me in one. That's why. Got a free move. <sighs> okay. Oh, you made it! <laughs> yeah, you're insane. Yeah. You are insane. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. That's crazy. I would have taken you something, but it would mate me in one. That's why. Is that a G8 with G1 threat? No problem. I mean, he didn't have any pieces, so I was perfectly safe. <laughs> nice. I was lining up my rooks. <laughs> yeah, you were safe. You had, like, all the pieces traded off the board. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's Another so chest. rare to see, like, sort of endgame positions in double stress. Only happens in this sort of situation. Mm-hmm. Okay, this Ken from uh, Fix is getting pummeled by us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, amazing. Nine, I can sack an F7 here specifically, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, that, that's fine if you want to do that. I know you said it's a bad idea normally, but... So can let's you get me in? It's fine. I'll trade for you. Thank you. Another knight would be like... Well... I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, he just gives it well. <laughs> Inconsiderate. <laughs> I actually... Can't... Do I have any tricks here? Queen, I mean... Well, okay. Hmm. Trade's good? Mm-hmm. Always, yeah. 
Yes. Um, maybe no queen, okay? No queen. You can force a queen trade, but... I have zero fear. No, no queen, no queen, no queen. Okay, no, no, no he missed it. So. Nice, yeah, no queen and no rook for just a little bit. Okay, we're up a ton of time. Oh, excellent. Oh, resign. Resign, wow. I mean, there's lost. I mean, you're you're crushing. Yeah, rook at h3 or whatever. Yeah. Nice. Crazy stuff's cool. about to happen there. Yeah, awesome. Very nice. Moving right along. All right. Somebody in chat asks what's going on here. Well, this is doubles chess, also mm -hmm. known as bug house. It is the same rules of chess apply, except there are two boards. I have a partner, and pieces I capture, I'm giving them to my partner, and they can use them on their board. That's the that's the gist of it. <laughs> If you have specific questions, please do ask in chat, and I will do my best to answer them. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. And it works both no ways. Knights. So any pieces my partner takes, I can use. Yeah, I can't really hold knights. Okay, that's okay. But he's getting a rook. You can give him knights now, but... Um... Okay, great. Can I have a knight? Yeah, I can sack for it right now. Should I sack for it? I want it, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. So it. it's, I mean, it's it's a fine piece. Now what I want, like, is... 20 pawns as fast as possible. Okay, here's one. One. I'm sacking the, the kingdom for it here. I'm <laughs> sacking, sacrificing trouble. the kingdom. Okay, here's a bishop, which is basically a pawn. Oh, yes. Thank you very <laughs> kindly. Which he just blundered. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my God, this is just carnage. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh... Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's what's, that's one of the things I love about doubles chess, is you can just totally sacrifice one of the player's boards, like myself, my own board or my partner's board, just completely that's be losing so fun, on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can just throw everything out the window and just not care about your position if your partner's mating. My opponent's not moving, so they're so, in yeah, some we'll trouble already. Yeah. That's an interesting strategy, just stall. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just he's just not gonna. Like the problem is, yeah. Ugh. I'll play some uh, some chess myself now. Mm hmm See what not happens. Not too shabby. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now he moved. Oh okay, wow. That's that's gonna really serve them well, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, pieces are good here. Like a knight would be great. Knight's coming. Fantastic. Knight's and coming. Just hold Very rook sharp. for like the whole game, okay? What? Don't give rooks this game. Mm, okay, that's fine. If you're gonna do it, just warn me. Okay, no, no, not, they're not they're not close or anything. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. No knight, okay. sit, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yeah, let me, let me, you can go on vacation for a little bit. Okay. I can, I can advise if it's chess. Great. Oh, oh man. Tables will turn here. All right, let me, let me get in here. Yeah. Do you have anything? Um, I do. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. It's going to go queen takes d4. I'm going to try and set up some, like, weird sort of check meaning things here. Uh, I want him to take f3. Oh wait, you can, you're not- oh god, you have no knights on. Mm. Hmm. I can take- I mean, I, have, I can castle, okay. you know. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, go. Can I give a queen? Yeah, you can give no. anything now. Yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just try okay, to- are you sure? Oh, whoa, 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 I thought you were gonna go queen d7. Oh. Oh, I was gonna- I was gonna give no, a queen. No, um, no, I can get you a stuff. Are we up on- no, we're- I'm down. Um. Okay. Yeah. This Let's is- meet. A little risky. <laughs> yeah, I'm busted, basically. Uh, just take that, just take that, just take that. Take what? The bishop. Oh, the bishop. Okay, I thought the pawn was... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, no, you, sh you should have gone to maybe H. H8, yeah. Are we up on the clock? No, we're down. Ah, shit. Do you have anything? No. Yeah, no, before, when he had the pawn mm -hmm. on c7, uh, usually castling when they have queens is a bad idea. Like, okay. a better move might have been just moving your queen to d7 and letting him take on b8, because a knight was going to mate for me, so I was Wait, trying to... Wait, I have to... an idea. Can you go knight g6? Just in case they go, like, knight b4 or something, it's mate. So, can you try to tempt his knight from c6 out? <laughs> yeah, let's see if, he, if he's going to move at all. 
Trying to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tempt so. him. I'm gonna. T- <laughs> he has to specifically go knight to e5. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want him to play that move right now. Nah, this is just no way. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I was trying to entice him to play like knight at d6 on your position, but I that was my bad. I probably should have told you the plan ahead of no, time. No, I, because I, castling to me always seems like safe, uh, and but I just underestimated how quickly he can rip open my king's position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just whenever there's queens usually you don't want to castle. Mm-hmm. Unless it's a, an extreme circumstance, which, for whatever reason, you're more unsafe if you Got don't. It. But in that case, you were you were safer uncastled, I'd say. Stuff is good. Alright, you get... It's all coming. Yeah, nice move. Yeah, once I open, it's just him against me, basically. Oh, God. Jesus. Wow. Really tempting fate here. It's getting crazy over there. Um, hmm. Yeah, Queen's gonna be good for me. Okay, I can trade. Oh, whoa, oh, buddy, which whoa. Which you're gonna put on G2. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I tricked him. Oh my god, I just, I thought he was going to take the bishop, so, it's okay, they just, oh man, nice. <laughs> this is good. Nice. Okay. These were the world champions last year. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Alright, playing out of book again. Yeah, my blue Getting my, my development. Your position looks good. You're gonna to want to drop like pawns on e6 if he allows e6. you. Yeah, that's right. yeah and then I'll try and get you bishops. Oof. Not yet. Uh, actually, yes. Now. Yes. So you can just take f7. Oh my god. Just twice. Okay, just whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop exactly. at e6. No, With no. Knight at g5. Knight at g5. Knight at g. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, maybe. Actually, maybe here pawn at e6 better. Um. Yeah, let you me, can go pawn it, pawn it, yeah. Bishop had a five knight on g5 later, and then it's mate. Yeah, and you also, yeah, bishop, but you also have, like, knight d5 ideas. Oh, god. It's just, okay. it's just very dirty. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I have some stuff here going on. Yeah, it's definitely, you definitely got some stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> I have some serious, serious stuff going on here. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy this quite a bit. Nice. Okay, I think it's made next move. I think it might be made next. I don't know if I have enough attacking material here. His king is quite safe, but I say he's quite safe. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Thank here we go. Twenty-four, twenty-four, ninety-four five, over there. Okay, what is he doing? Is this a line? Yes, this is a line. I don't buy it. Um, you don't buy it? No. So yeah, just like, I would uh, counterattack in this line. It, it's really great if you can like sacrifice on F, like, even just like knight e5 here and yep, just taking and being that. like, I don't care about knights or bishops. Nobody needs those. Okay, well, maybe here like something like pawn at d6 is interesting. Okay, and pawn at c7. And bishop at c7. Bishop at c7. And bishop at d8. I don't know, just like, mm -hmm. you can take e5 first. Whoops, that was a mouse slip, sorry. That's okay. I was dragging the bishop to d8, my bad. Yeah, just take e5, and then if he takes back, then you can do, like, something at d6. Pawn at d6, maybe? Yeah, pawn or bishop there. Um, I can't take a single piece in this. Oh, yes, I can. I'll take, uh... An h7? Oh, that's so risky. <laughs> risky? Okay. Oh, my God. Scary stuff. But I'm, f I'm fine. Safe. So safe. Got Ooh. all the squares covered. Queen mates might mate for me. You want like, like a you rook or something, queen. right? Rook mates too. Well, his queen's covering now. Oh, whoa. Uh, I guess the queen's fine, yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask you so. Well, he doesn't take it. He He's too afraid. He doesn't want um, it. So, yeah, queen. just, um... Okay, no queen, no queen. Actually, okay, no mm, queen. <laughs> things are getting dubious over here. 
Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm in trouble. Do you want a rook? Can you make rook mate? No, not yet. I need to get his queen out of the picture first. Okay, go, um... Knight f6, maybe? Just to get his queen out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't buy it. So just go <laughs> rook, uh, rook g1. Yeah. Takes. Rook takes g2. Yeah. Oh, wait, watch out. He's throwing knight at g... g3. Three mate. Okay. So, uh... Three, three. God. Uh, yeah, nice we move. were up on this one, I mean. No, this is good. You want to go, like, yeah, nice move, nice move. Okay, yeah, take the bishop. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, much. that was bad. No, it's fine. Go down to f1, f1, f1. Yeah. So then d e t e e one and then d2. Yeah, I got a little path. Okay, oh, Ooh, wait, you want the rook? Oh, coming. Yes. It is coming, partner. It's coming. Are we up on time? We are yes, up we are. on time. Oh, my God, that's Splendid. incredible. Splendid. <laughs> that's good coordination. <laughs> no idea. Oh, amazing. Um, beautiful. Nice. Right. See, that guy's in chat. That's, uh, that's coordinating. Oh, he's raging hardcore right now. <laughs> Coordination is super important in doubles chess. You gotta always be aware of what's going on in your partner's board and what the plan is. Because you don't only have plans on your own board, but you also mm -hmm. have to have plans on the overall picture of both boards. So it's really important to keep in mind. Yes, you should continue your bug career, Stainier. Do it. Trying to break break into his uh his little fortress back. over there. Yeah. That and maybe bishop at g six? Oh g six would have been stronger, yeah. I was trying to play a little bit solid here. Sack. Oh whoops, that was a wonder. Need a piece. That's great. <laughs> You're fine. I'm doing yeah. fun stuff over here. I I'm say that as I'm getting checked, but sack. I really like my position. I'm gonna get some light square attack on his king. My idea is to I go pawn at I try to get you a knight if you need it. I do not. Um, well, maybe now I do. He pushed, so now I'm gonna try and take his queen. Oh man, nice. Okay. Um... So the only way my opponent could get attack is if you give two rooks. Go okay. knight at f3, rook at g2 <laughs> takes knight at h4, and even then he'll need another knight, but it's, you know. I'm, Might as well I mean, avoid I'm that. Losing in chess, I'm down three pieces, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, uh, but I do have a queen, I suppose, so... Yeah. And we're, we're up on the clock, aren't we? Okay, no rook, okay? No rook? Yeah, no, no don't worry. Thank you. Alright, so now Rook's coming. Oh, Rook coming. is coming. Yeah, so just, um... S sit, yeah? Let me get safe. Yeah, yeah sorry. I missed yeah, I missed then, Yeah, just go on, go on vacation for a little bit, maybe. Okay. Stretch out? Yeah, stretch out, stretch out. Oh, okay, let's watch the master play here. <laughs> we'll see what, what I can make happen over here. Probably something. Do you have a lot of stuff? I have two pawns. That's it? But that's all that I need. Okay, because you're gonna put another one at B seven. I'm gonna. And he's gonna regret the day he was born. Does he have anything? He has nothing. Oh man. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna try to set something up. Set up bishop c six, Andrew. No, I'm setting up queen a six. Oh, queen a six is even stronger. Yeah. <laughs> That's my idea. Try to get in here. Beautiful. I'm like, can't let him play rook b six. Nope, nope. Take that. Oh man, this is nasty. This oh, is getting very. Getting I in. can get you a rook on demand. Yep, I'm gonna go here and I'm attacking c7 and c6. Uh huh. And oh, check. Gonna c7, All right, and pawn I'm gonna mates. Give you a pawn with which you're gonna mate. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> nice. There we go. Time advantage is everything. Beautiful. See, yeah, uh, because we get the power, we can make a move whenever we want. Exactly. Okay. You have complete control in this sort of situations. Oh, I am Rosen. Thank you so Ooh. much for the raid. Nice. 209 people joining in. For those joining in, we're playing doubles chess, which is the same rules of chess except it's two boards, you have a partner, and any material captured by you or your partner, you give to your partner. So if I capture a pawn, I can pass it over to my partner and he can use it on his board, on any open square. Queen trade might be coming. Okay. Alrighty. He made it. 
very strange move. <laughs> yeah, your position looks pretty great. Oh, and I'm up a knight, safe king. What else could I ask for? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do knight takes e4. If he takes my bishop or knight, I can take the queen, and then knight takes on f2 or c3 is mm -hmm. a good idea. All right, but I'm going to... Yeah, you're safe, even if he... like. My opponent is slightly slow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> and you, And there's Eric. no way for him... Okay, I have a fun idea for, for this. I'm gonna try and set up a rook mate, okay? Mm -hmm. You're so safe. Like, he has no way of getting He has nothing, no squares, no access. All right, so I'm going to say I'm going to go on vacation and ask my partner for a rook, please. Okay. You one have, order of rook like, will be fulfilled by Amazon. One, Prime I'll here. take one rook, please. Will you take a queen, though? <laughs> oh, a queen is great. That's great. I'm feeling Something I'm feeling paradox. peckish. Thank Need you some... so much for the sub. That's your one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, man, they are as busted as the dead he gets. Okay. Oh. Oh man! Oh whoops! Oh he wins. It's all right. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's, all right. it's fine. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Just wait. I'll get you that queen. I believe. I believe. I will promise I'll get you that queen. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Just careful. Don't let him meet you. Don't worry, Em. Yeah, you no. got you got the squares covered. You're safe. Oh, that's that's True. evil. That queen. Yeah, queen or rook. By well. hook or by crook, I will get you that queen. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith. Just see, sit back, relax. Oh, nice. I've gotten... Now he's mine. This. <laughs> Trapped. Just uh, 18 knights against the queen. <laughs> Honestly, though. Oh, knights are great. Babies on d5 and c6. Mm-hmm. Give him a purple heart. All right. Nice. Awesome. Ooh. Showing the viewers some examples of time advantage coming into play here. When you're up time, you can wait for pieces. I think that's one of the mistakes that I see a lot of players do, is they're a little impatient. They'll be up on the clock, a piece will mate for them, but they keep moving even though their partner definitely has enough time to force it. Mm -hmm. So patience is key, people watching. Wait, go on vacations. Like, vacations are great. You yeah, know? they are. Pawn would be, well, like a knight's interesting, but I'm not sure I have a follow-up knight. So I'm going to play knight too. So. Not mm -hmm. sure I have really a follow up here. Mm. Ruja. Maybe Which just maybe pawn at e4. e4, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just be like, awesome. eh, whatever. Because I'm gonna have that e4 square. Exactly. Queen is coming. Knight is good for me. Knight, um, let's see what I can do. Can you get me stuff like pawns and stuff? A bishop would be great. Yep. Bishop would be amazing, actually. Well, he's defending, but. Yeah, let's just try to. I really want to pawn it up three here. Mm-hmm. He's gonna yeah. try and defend. Oh, he keeps on covering it up. Knight at e one would be nice, but would you like a knight? That would be great. <laughs> I'm, I'm like gonna get knight. it. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take on f three, and I'm going to keep on attacking the f three square mercilessly. All right, and I'm gonna what get this need? knight. You've been very selfless. Well, it's not okay. as effective anymore. I'm but... taking it anyways. You know what? Okay. I got the knight, and I'll get you more pawns now. I'm going to give you a knight, maybe on g8 would be an interesting idea. Oh, yes. Hmm. I might I don't place know. it I'm no on... one to advise yeah, the, on the artist. <laughs> but Check. what do you need? Pawn? Bishop? S pawn? I would like a single pawn, please. A single pawn has been provided. Thank you. <laughs> Like oh, I'm oh getting my in. goodness gracious. This is just <laughs> it's sad. evil. It's sad. This is sad. They can't install well, we're actually up on time. Oh my god. I was gonna start just wandering pieces with chat for entertainment. Just for entertainment, yes. Amazing. That's the, that's the best thing about it. Just like goof off on the board when a game is one on the other one. Mm-hmm. We gotta watch out. Sure I might I might like I might slip Queen A. <laughs> Queen H7 or something. Would be or knight or some, something to cover. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, well. And for those in chat, in about 10 minutes, we're going to be ending off our series here, and I'll be jumping into some uh, games with some of you viewers. Mm -hmm. So if anyone in chat has uh, would like to partner up, just let the moderator know your chess.com username, and I'm going to be playing some games with you guys. Trying to get you some loot here, some minor pieces. Awesome. 
I'm giving you a rook too. I've got some uh, dark square things happening over I'm here. I'm winning in chess, actually. You know, the funny thing... The, so, the jerk thing to do would be to just... Uh, but uh, you're also... <laughs> oh, check. Alright. A famous... Oh, okay, resign. I mean, they're completely busted on both yeah, boards. Yeah, exactly. So. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, very strong partner pair. Mm-hmm. This will be fun. I'm just going to go right in. See, I made the cardinal sin of playing c6. I think I'm going to, um... I think I'm going to get away with it. I'm just going to take this queen for you. Okay. Yeah, pieces are good here. We're down a little bit on the clock. Okay, I can give you a lot of pieces. He just wanted a knight. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to start sacking. Awesome. I can give you... Okay, can we be... I need to be very careful. My king is very unsafe. Can we sit for... No, we can't. Okay. You're safe. You're totally safe. The only pieces uh, that could make you is like a rook plus a queen. Uh-huh. So you're fine here. Wow. Doing some magic there. Um, I can sack for a rook. Pawns and bishops are better, but... And sack for bishop. <laughs> sure. Sack for bishop. Okay. Who needs queens? Yeah, exactly. Who needs queens anyway? It doesn't matter. Yeah. In positions like these, to those watching, it's like, yeah, my opponent has two queens, but I don't care. I'll put a knight on g2 instead of one. Okay. Yeah. Let me just start beefing up my mm -hmm. defenses. Bishops, slightly. pawns, and things like that are good here. Bishops, pawns. How about knights? Or not as much. <laughs> Can you hold a knight? Uh, yeah, How confident I, he, are you in holding a knight? He has no way to get a knight. None. Fantastic. Not even close. Um, I know you're tempted to like play pawn at e4 and knight at f3, but just resist. No, 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 no. Um, no, no knights. No knights. Hmm. Still no knights, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm in big for trouble. A little here. longer. I'm trying to trying to ward this. I have to give up a knight. No, no, you you can't. You just go to c8. I can actually. That's true. <laughs> just heavy, no heavies. Hmm. I would he like can... some bishops. Some or bishops. Pawn. Yeah, take that. Um, take that, and then block on b7. Take, with take the knight. what? Okay. Oh, the pawn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh whoa, whoa. Maybe that was risky actually. Uh, with it's a bishop fine. on can... b7, I can block. All right, here. Oh, this is real risky. But uh, knight a five. Oh. Okay, you gotta you okay. gotta be careful. You gotta take and then run straight up to the moon. Yeah. Also, knight on a five could be a good defensive resource here. Mm-hmm. Do you have heavies and stuff? I have uh, I have worries. <laughs> <laughs> I I can get you stuff. But... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. I need to I need to weigh my options here. What is what's your your opponent? What does he need to mate you? Like I don't think he needs a heavy, but if he doesn't have a heavy, I don't really or bishops. I guess a lot of them mate me. Like a couple pawns. A couple pawns, is yeah. Close but to nothing, uh, nothing immediate. All right, let me think. Heads up. All right, I'm gonna think of a of a fantastic idea. It's gonna come to me. It's gonna occur I just know it. Okay, I'm gonna say I have. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. Uh. Okay. Were knights bad? <laughs> no, knights are good. Knights are fine. Okay, if you're mated, just sit. If you're I am. mated. You're mated in one? Uh, not in one, but in a couple. And he's pre moving. Ooh. That's hard. It's tough. Yeah, this guy is really fast. Getting Your opponent's actually as fast as chess. Ah. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> uh -oh. we'll, we'll try it again. Let's try again. Let's just rematch right. him. How about one more game and then... Sure. We'll, uh... We can call last on this one. Sounds good. Awesome. Okay, he wants to... No knights. Oh, it's coming. Actually, knights are fine, too. It's fine. It's actually completely fine. Okay, what's 
All right, pawn is good for me. Yeah, it's coming up. Right. In a second. Yeah, I don't know how to move. I'm gonna sit, we're gonna sit this down a little bit because pawn at g3 looks a little. A little iffy. I can sketchy. Uh, yeah, I guess. I could sack it, sack forth, but um. <clears throat> we'll sit it down a little bit. I I, I, I feel strong in our speed. Mm hmm. Me too. Yeah, we'll, we'll tone the time down a little bit. And then it, I feel like in time scrambles, yeah. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. So, for those in chat, like one strategy is when you have like a bit of a risky situation on one of the boards and you're worried about them getting pieces, you it's a good strategy to sit down until there's less time on the clock because then your opponent has less time to figure out the checkmating sequences. Mm -hmm. So, they're, mm -hmm. more, they're more likely to miss a mate because obviously in this sort of, I mean in some situations when there's a really obvious checkmating sequence and it's forced, then they'll just calculate it during the, the sit down. But in this case, we have a lot of options of the ways your king can run, so it's hard for him to calculate all of them and play it fast. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a good strategy. Alright, so I go pawn at g3, knight takes, king takes, yeah. and then I won't give a bishop or anything, so he can't go bishop at h4. The concern is him doing something like pawn at h4, pawn at g3, king yeah, e2. Yeah, and then he's got f2 square. Yeah, and then he's got knight f4, which is the bigger issue. It's knight f4, mm -hmm. bishop at f2, and if your king's running up, it's really dangerous. Mm-hmm. But if I don't give a bishop, then your king can always, instead of taking the knight on f4, you could run to d4. I think you might live a little more on the queen on the queen. Yeah, I can live see longer on the queen side. <laughs> yeah, someone's asking how long are we gonna wait until moving? Um how, what do you think? We'll make a move at I'll move when I'm at fifteen seconds. Okay. Oh, well, he just oh whoa buddy. What the heck was that? Whoa buddy, whoa. Okay, you can <laughs> Whoa buddy, what is going on? Start hunting for him. Okay, can I um Oh, this is dubious. What's going no on No pawns, there? but, um... You alright? I'm fine. Totally fine, actually. Alright, no rook. No rook? Okay. Yeah. He wanted a queen. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, I'm blundering things here too, a little bit. He's trying to flag me and it's kind of working. I'm trying to flag this guy. Ah, oh, I can't move. Ah, ah I'm mating two. No. Or, I'm mating one. That was a good objective far. game, though. Yeah. They were a little speedy and yeah, I was a little slow. Yeah, this guy's very slow. fast. Um, he's a, he, he flags me in bullets too, this guy, Yoav. He's mm -hmm. crazy fast. Um, wow. Yeah, good games. Wow, good that's games. crazy. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. This was amazing. A ton My of fun. pleasure. I, likewise, I feel like, I, I feel like I've, I've gotten the ropes a little bit. And, um, for sure. You have really very... good like intuition on a, a lot of the moves I saw you were making were just like completely like the right ideas of like which way to run your king and like attacking ideas mm -hmm. thanks it's yeah awesome. I, I definitely need sort of practice in the in the technique and like some theory maybe but uh this mm -hmm. was a lot of fun for me i i uh very very humble to be taught by uh the greatest <laughs> so so thanks a lot and uh mm -hmm. hope you guys Thank enjoyed you. um i'm gonna stream in a little while uh it's just maybe some chess <laughs> Sure, yeah. Make sure you all check out his channel if you haven't yet. Well, I'm sure someone will give a shout out in the chat. But yeah, I'll say goodbye for now and thanks again. And I hope you have Thank a great you. rest of your day. Uh, right. Likewise, thanks again. And, bye bye. Um, hopefully, uh, play again with you soon. For sure. All, all right. right, take care. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. Everyone, hopefully, I can get the camera working. Got this. There we go. Oh, fantastic. That worked very well. All right. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that portion of our stream. For those just joining in, I'm going to recap a few things that I said earlier. 
There is a Speed Chess Championship going on that everyone should be checking out if you haven't yet. Awesome matches with eight of the world's top Speed Chess players. Here you go, you can check out some of the matches coming up. I'll put them up on the screen. So definitely check that out. It's gonna be some very exciting matches coming up very soon. And for those who are just joining in and don't know what's going on, let me tell you. So, we're playing Doubles Chess. Doubles Chess is also known as Bug House. I'm going to give you a little breakdown of the rules here for those who haven't seen this chess variant before. It's a variant played on two chess boards by four players in teams of two. Normal chess rules apply, except that captured pieces on one board are passed on to the teammate on the other board. As each captured piece is passed to your teammate, they have the option of using any available pass pieces on their board, and available pass pieces are displayed on the side margin of the board. We'll go over a few terms as well. Sack sitting, sacrificing material, waiting for trades from your partner. So, similar to chess, except that you get to sit around and take a little break and go on vacation and ask for things. <laughs> so you're not just sacrificing material, but you're waiting for pieces from your partner since trades are coming in. Sit means don't move. Won't be saying that too much now, except for I'll let you know when I'm partnering up with everyone what my communication tells are to them. And initiative, having the possibility to attack first, taking into consideration all possible trades coming in. So that's a big one too. Let me pull the back up here. There we go. All right, so we're going to be jumping into some games with you viewers. So if you would like to partner up with me for a game, then please tell the moderator in chat your chess.com username. All right, and I'm just going to pull up who's in the queue right now. We've got Steve is five coming up first. So we'll go ahead and get that started. All right, I have invited to be partners. All right, so we're gonna do a couple games, a few games each. We can do like three games each right now until more people jump in. Give me one second. And don't worry about rating or anything like that, guys, in chat, please. The whole point of this show is for me to be teaching you guys a little bit about doubles chess and analyzing the games, going over everything with you guys. If you've never played a game before, if you've played a thousand games, a hundred thousand games, feel free to partner up anyways. There's always more that you can learn. I'm still learning. Everyone's still learning. That's the great thing about chess and doubles is that there's always more to learn. And don't worry, we can lose every single game or win every single game. The whole point is we just want to see what we can learn from it. And it's going to be a ton of fun along the way, right? Let's just have fun. Forget about the rest. If you've never played before, this could be your chance to get a couple games in and learn a little bit about it. So let's jump in. Seeking in the random pool, we'll see who, what opponents we get for Stevis and I. Yeah, the queue is not too big right now, so jump in quick and you can get some games quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, anyone is welcome. Literally, anyone is welcome in the queue. So grab this opportunity. We're going to have some fun. Hmm. It's suspicious that we haven't gotten a game yet. Do I need to refresh or something? A lot of people in the random pool, so I'm sure we'll get one any second. <laughs> Thank you, uh, don't assume, did you just assume my username? <laughs> it's kind of you to say. All right, here we go. Wow, plus 15. We got some strong opponents here for Stevis and I. This will be fun. So I'll explain my strategy as we play. So here, whoa, did he just, okay. I'm just playing some sort of theory. This is like an opening you'll see sometimes. I want to avoid him getting like knight or like, sorry, yeah, like knight at e4 or pawn at e5 kind of ideas in. I'm going to try to dislodge his knight here just so that I can get a bit of an attack. So my idea is I'll play like h5 just to support our pawn here on the g file. And meanwhile, my partner's doing a good job at defending, which is awesome. So my opponent found a pretty decent move. It's annoying. Nobody, I don't like when my opponents do this kind of thing. <laughs> You're not supposed to be playing good moves. Come on, come on. 
give me, give me some, give me something. All right, so trades are good in this position for me. I'm mm, debating bishop b7 to push. It's a little bit risky. We're down on the clock though, which is a big issue. I could probably go rook d8 with this sort of threat of taken here. Yeah, he's gonna stop that kind of nonsense though, isn't he? So I'll just go knight h7. I don't want to allow him to get like queen and h7 ideas or any nonsense like that. I'm just gonna try and stay safe, less solid if I can. So I'm recapturing with the pawn. My queen covers c6, so he doesn't have knight takes c6 anymore. My partner's doing a really good job at defending over there, which is awesome. So I'll just go pawn at e4, develop my bishop if I can. Yep, bishop f5. Okay, my partner is getting into a bit of heated trouble, but it doesn't look like mate just yet. He's got to go to e2. Yeah, because if he goes to g1, pawn at f2 would be mate. So you have to be, remember, pieces are flying all over the place in this, so they can drop mate in this game. You've got to watch out for that. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to try to not trade too many pieces. My partner's made a good move. Pawn at e5, just trying to cut off the queen from the attack. Smart idea. I'll just go knight f8, just trying to stay safe here. Whatever I do, my main idea is just to try not to trade pieces. So he's got, yeah, knight g3 is a bit of a scary thing for my partner. I'm just going to go queen e7, not allow him to push e7. Yeah, my partner is mated, unfortunately. But uh, if he goes like king king c4, I guess. If they go king c3, then just queen b4 is going to be main one. I don't really have too many tricks here. I'm going to try to develop my knight. We're down a lot on the clock. And uh, <laughs> um, that's a big problem. So when you're down on the clock, honestly, my opponent could just stop moving and wait for his partner to give checkmate, and then that would be that. I'm trying to bait him into doing some crazy stuff, but, you know, it's tricky. I feel like I've done a decent job of, like, keeping a good position on my board, but um, it's tricky. It's definitely really tricky, especially when they have this kind of crazy like mating net going on here. It's, it's hard to get out of that. So we've got checkmated this game, so I'll resign. Very tough opponents, of course, but my partner did a really good job at defending for as long as he did there, because that was a really strong attack that was going on. But yeah, basically in those kind of positions, the it's really precise the way you've got to defend and really like the I, if I could have resigned, I could maybe uh, not resigned. If I could have rewinded. It, then I would show you um, maybe a way that you could have gotten out of that. But possibly a better idea is when you're newer or more lower rated in doubles chess is to avoid getting sacked on or sacrificed on in general. Just because I would say at the lower level, knowing how to defend against sacrifices is asking a lot. Because it's actually very, very tricky. Like, a lot of players that are 2300 don't know how to defend against people that are sacrificing and sack sitting and things like this. So my advice would just be to play an opening where they don't sack on you. Maybe play e6, d6 as black, or play, like, the London system as white, something... Oh, did I just hang a bishop? I did. Look at me. I can't, I can't multitask. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically... Um, We'll do two games each. All right, we're going to do two games each. So this will be the last with, with Stevis, and then we'll move on to the next question in the queue. But yeah, that's my advice, is for those who are maybe tired of getting sack sitted on, like, you really don't really need to know how to defend against sack sitters like, at the lower level. It's, it's very complicated. I'd recommend just playing openings where they can't do that. Even if the openings are a little bit more passive or a little bit more um, not considered the best openings, I just say for while you're learning the basics, it's a good idea to not just be getting checkmated every game. You won't be learning as quickly then if you're just getting checkmated in the same sort of sacrificing patterns. I feel like you learn a lot more from playing games where you're not being sacrificed on, at least at the beginning. That's what I would say. That is a free knight on e5 that I'm going to take. I am going to take that free knight, yes. Alright, uh, here, I'll just take that. 
Um, he's going to take my knight, but my idea is I want to take here and try and open up his king a little bit. It'd be great if I had a knight right now, but we're down a little on the clock. I can play rook takes d5, which is nice. Okay, I'm getting the bishop. All right, I'll try and see what I can do. Um, if it's like rook g8, I, I want to make sure that my king, there's no like weird threats with the... Uh, my partner's doing very well over there. He's getting me a pawn, so I'll place pawn at h6. But yeah, if he was to go rook g8, I don't want to allow like knight at h3 ideas, so I'd probably step sidestep my king there. What do I play if people, if I want to people to sax it against me? <laughs> well, you're a much higher rated, Gina. A lot of the time, when you're at the higher level and people are sacrificing out of the opening, it's a good thing for the for for the, you because you're just winning material. And if you know how to defend against it, then, I mean, sack sitting in general isn't considered that good unless you have the pieces to back it up. So, but like I said, I'm talking about like if you're rated like anywhere from like below a thousand to like eighteen hundred sort of window, I'd say just don't get sacrificed on too much. It is no. I wouldn't say that that's like something you really need to know how to defend against that early on. You want to you want to get because I feel like when people sacrifice against you, you're spending a lot of time defending, and you need to be learning how to do more than just defend at that level. You want to know how to attack. You want to know how to just play positionally, and such and such. So right now, my partner has a very good attack going on. It's interesting if he goes to f2, uh, if he goes king f2 to e2, then we could have uh, maybe like knight at f4, and if he takes, then you have knight takes d4, and pawn at e3 ideas, so if he went king e2, knight at f4, he would probably need to step to d2, but then you can capture on d3, and if he takes, then you get some light square attack going on with like pawn at c4 and things like that, so that's one idea. So my partner's playing it, I don't know if you heard me say it, or if he just knows to play it, but either way, this is fabulous. So now he can take on d4. I'm not even going to move, I'm going on vacation. I'll maybe drop a pawn. Um, he maybe has like bishop takes f4 here is an idea. Knight mates for me, rook mates for me. So yeah, there we go, he got the mate. Exactly, nice job Stevis, that was a beautiful mating net. Good games, thanks for partnering. So we'll go up to who's next in the queue. Who is next? Like scrolling up. <laughs> Maybe just we'll just post it again. I think you you sent it to me in in okay here. So next up is oh that this queue looks different from the one I saw in chat. Red Tiger, okay, alrighty, we're going up next with the Red Tiger. But we'll partner up there. There we go. Let's jump in. Alright. So, just normal London system sort of stuff going on here. Alright, so I'm going to push my H bond too. His idea, yeah, go there. He's a little quicker than me, so it's annoying, but I have bishop at g6. My idea is I want to try and get in on these light squares and at the same time defend f7. So I love moves like this where you're attacking and defending at the same time. I'm just going to go knight to e4, try to capture back with the pawn, and now I have like a pretty good like safety stuff going on here, but at the same time I might be able to get something like pawn at d3 in to keep safe. So he wants to play something like knight at e5, which he's going to get, unfortunately. But I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to take the bishop, take on c2, and be like, I don't need queens. Who needs queens? A lot of the time, you can just give away your queen if your partner's safe, which my partner is, and if it's just better positionally on your board to give away the queen. Because if I was to move my queen, he's probably going to win it anyways with something like bishop at d7. So I might as well just, you know, let him have it and let myself try and improve my position and kind of get something out of it rather than just lose a queen for nothing. So I'll take this. If he takes with the bishop, I've got f6 as an idea. If he doesn't, then that's fine. I could castle. I could also just push my Harry down the board. So my idea is I want to play h3, because then if he takes... Oh god. If he takes... <laughs> that's not a good free move. If he takes, like, knight at g2 would be mate. Alright, so he's trying to get... He's trying to do scary things, isn't he? 
Uh, queen would mate me here. I could possibly just go knight at d6 to defend e7 and my bishop at the same time from like a potential queen at e7, rook at e7 threat. So he's going to try and sack a little bit. That's fine. I'm going to go h3 maybe. I'm also going to ask for trades. We're up time, which is awesome. Um, so we're up time. Like a knight would be great um, for knight at d3 to win the queen. Queen. I could also go bishop at c1 to try and threaten, like, just making a queen to try and get a little bit more time on the clock while my partner tries to get me the knight. So, yeah, he fails to see my threat. So I shall promote to a queen here. And now a knight is basically almost checkmating my opponent. But unfortunately, we're down a tad. So what I could do is take this. Oh, I got the knight. Okay, that would have been way better for me to have placed. If he captures here, it's really good for me because I have, like, pawn and d2 threats. Yep, I'm just going to push h3. And now I have a lot of threats. So actually, pushing h3, I don't want to push h2. I would prefer to place a pawn on h2, because then I have threats of taking g2 with a discovered check, which I think is a lot stronger. But he takes with the queen, so that queen covers h2 now. We have to keep that in mind. So now, because it covers h2, I have to push h2, I would say. I mean, maybe it still wasn't the best option. But... Um, here we gotta be careful. So I'm actually gonna go knight at g3. He's gonna take with the queen. Oh, he doesn't take with the queen. So I'll go knight at uh, f2 and take the bishop on d1, which looks good. And I'm gonna say like rook is gonna be good for me here. Oh, bishop at h1 might have been a slip by my partner. Okay, that's not good because queen is definitely gonna mate me. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to do here. This might be over now, unfortunately. I might have to just try to defend, but. He's got maybe knight f6 ideas, and I have to take with the pawn, because otherwise, if he plays queen at d7, it would just mate me if I take with the bishop. So, uh, knight mates me. My partner's also getting mated. I also don't have a blocker. So, we'll just resign this one. But that was a really good try. My partner was very safe there for a long time. Um... I think that maybe I could have been a little bit more accurate with my moves. Like, as I said, I got the knight here. If I was able to place knight at d3 or knight at c2, it would have been great. But I got the knight a second later than I realized, so the castle got a little bit safe. And I think I maybe failed to see that the move queen to d6 is pretty strong. So, might have been a little bit of a, of a miss on my part as well. So we'll play another one. Alright, e4, d5, one of my favorite lines to play. It's fun, there's a lot of theory here. And overall, we like to say it's actually not that great for black if you play absolutely perfectly as white and as your partner playing perfectly as well. Not even just white playing perfectly, but your partner has to too. We'd say that it's not a great opening, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would say it's still an opening that is good enough that you can get away with it 99.9% .9 of the time. So, it doesn't matter. Technically, it's not the best opening in the books, but I like it. The reason why it's not great, because now that I've said it, I should probably explain it, but the reason that it's not great is that um, if white gets material in trades and they're up time, so if they're playing like incredibly fast and um, they're up time, then usually they can attack on like h6 and get like a bit of a, 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 a dark squared thing going on, or they could take on e6 and do the same line that we kind of did here, but instead the difference would be, um, I'm going to keep trying to attack, because my partner's in a little bit of trouble over here, he, he might have to try and defend somehow, um, but yeah, if they get like pawn at f7 in, out of the opening, like, here, I think, like, it's fine, but if they get like queens and rooks, then it would be bad, but obviously if you have a strong partner, they shouldn't be giving queens or rooks. If they're if they're playing um, more or less correctly, it's just that there's more chances for white to get an edge out of the opening if they play perfect. But I'd say after the opening, it's black definitely has a lot of chances, which is why I like it. So if you play it really fast, which is what myself and the top player in the world, twelve team, he plays this opening all the time. He's the top doubles player, and it's basically him who invented the line, um, and then I created my own variations of it. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, it was a bit of a tricky attack over there. There was just too much going on on the dark squares around the king. It's very almost impossible to defend unless you keep getting pace, pieces to to trade. But thank you so much for partnering me, um, the Red Tiger. Yeah, the only way that he could have maybe defended that is if he kept getting pieces to drop to defend just as quickly as a, as his opponent gets pieces to um, attack with. 
Or the other way would be for me to not move and sit and wait for my partner to get safe, but we were down on the clock, so that wasn't an option. But yeah, good games. All right, we're gonna go to the next person in the queue. Who's next? We got IJH. Yes, of course, IJH, let's do it. My cat is crying. <laughs> Why she, it's like the same time, like yesterday too, that she started like crying at like 6.20. Oh my god. That's funny. I should probably let her in. Okay, give me one second to do that. Just so that the world doesn't end and you don't hear just like crying in the background. Come here. Come, come. Alright. Sorry about that. We're back. <laughs> All right, let's continue. I will partner up with IJH. Um, it says that we cannot partner at this time. Is that because you are in a game or something? Hmm? I know. <laughs> You're not in a game? All right. Uh, hmm. Let me try seeking a game and avoiding it. Could be on my end that something fishy is going on. All right, let's try. Oh, I think I just didn't unpartner Red Tiger quickly enough. All right, so we should be good now. I'm going to send you a partnership. Oh, we still can't partner. I think you might have a partner or something going on, AJH, because it's not me. Hello? Yeah, this, uh, that my, the cat that's here with me right now is Luca, is her name. <laughs> you can see her here. Hello. She's four months, like almost five months old now. All right. I'm not too sure. IJH is not quite working. Oh, did I? IJH. Oh, it's, is it a different account? I'll try that. Let's see if this one works. Nope, that's not working either. I thought that I did. I, I put in IJH returns the first time I thought. Maybe I didn't. I'll put that one in. Just maybe I'm crazy. Okay, yeah, I'm crazy. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> I must have been typing your other username that you use in uh, like Discord or something. There we go. All right, so we're playing this opening that I was literally just talking about. So I'm playing fast. The idea is this opening is totally playable if you play it quickly enough. That's that's how I'll put it. If you play, if you're playing fast enough, it's fine. There we go. So he's trying to attack on F7, which can be a little scary if they get a ton of pieces. But uh, oh, and he's getting a ton of pieces. So this might be a great example of just whoopsie doopsies. But we should I should technically still be okay here. I'd say. I'm feeling, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's fine. Alright, I'm just gonna defend. Might have to lose a little bit of material here, but I'm totally fine. Yeah, you can go, partner. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. So yeah, knight it, knight it. Okay, but he didn't want to play knight c6. He could have maybe waited for his partner to get a knight, but we are up on the clock if I say sit quickly enough. The knight would not come. So that's good. So yeah, pawn it, pawn it c6 is a good idea, but what I'll try to do is take this knight and then just say, ha 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 ha, I'm fine. Fine. All right, so he's not gonna attack me. That's kind of nice. So I will just take that. He's still probably gonna go pawn it uh, c6. He doesn't, so now I can create my own counter attack. So this is where I would say I have the initiative now because I get, he played one move too passive to, uh, yeah, this, this move isn't really creating any threats. I like to say, knights in front of your king are your friends. They defend you, actually. So I would say that my opponent's knight was defending me there. Just keeping me safe, maybe. So I'm gonna say, give me a knight partner, please. Please and thank you, I would like a knight. I want like 20 knights, to be honest. All right, so that's not the correct space to bring your king to. I have a few options of the way I can proceed here. I think I might just sacrifice a bishop so that his knight's no longer defending e2. Yep. And now I'm gonna go knight to e5. 
I have to be a little bit precise here because my partner is in trouble. And I don't know if I'm being precise, actually. I hope I am. <laughs> so he's going to go there. I'm going to go here. He's going to go over. Yeah, something, something's going on. We're going to have mate in the nearest future. Okay, yeah, that's going to be it. So I will tell my partner to sit. Do not move. You have forgotten how to use your hands, partner. You do not know how to move. There we go. So when you're up on the clock, we were up a significant amount of time. So my partner, even though he's getting checkmated himself, since we're up on the clock and I have mate faster, I can just win on my board and my partner can take a vacation and sit. So that's good. Uh, fantastic. All right. So in this opening, like I said, it's important to play fast. So I should probably be playing a little faster. Uh, we have one more game to go. I will just castle and I'm fine here. So that's an example of like how it can be a little dodgy in those uh, sort of situations with e4, uh, d5. But as you can see, you can even make it work even when things get crazy. He got tons of material and I still found a way to get safe. So it takes a lot. That's why I say it's playable. Like the opening's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just play it. If you like it, play it. It's a fine opening. I'd say you can play that opening at any level, e4, d5. But try to learn the lines, I'd say, because, <laughs> um, try to learn the lines a little bit, just the gist of them. Okay, queen's coming, so I need to be very cautious of that. Yeah, queen is, this is bad news bears. I have no way to not die here. <laughs> uh, okay, I made it in, like, three if he finds it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just takes my knight and I've got nothing. You know, bishop at g7 makes me too. So yeah, this is another situation where I should have just told my partner not to trade. It was my fault. I should have said don't trade. Um, which I did not say, so. Okay, for some reason, he's taking a little couple extra moves to make me. Oh, he's just being a bully now, isn't he? I hope he takes the knight. Take it. Of course he doesn't take it. Okay, well, I guess I'll just accept my fate here. I have no tricks. I have no tricks. I need, like, I, I literally have no tricks up my sleeves here. Oh, maybe I can get a knight. Knight! I need a knight. Send me a knight, please. The knight is the only piece in the world that shall save me from my perilous sadness. Yeah, hard to get. Yeah, uh, that's my fault. I didn't communicate that a queen was bad. So I'm not as used to communicating with the buttons as I should be, because I'm always in Skype calls with people when I'm streaming. So I need to um, remember that my partner can't read my thoughts. <laughs> so I'll resign. That one was on me, IGH. Thank you for partnering. Let's, uh, let's get the next person in the queue up. That was our two games, so thank you. I think that, yeah, that was two. No problem. Alrighty. Next up, we have Bloodthorn. Blood, yes, there we go. Alright, let's get him. Cool. All right, we're jumping in right away, getting some high-rated opponents. Um, hello. <laughs> Things are crazy right now. I'm moving tomorrow, guys. You're gonna see me on my next show. You'll see me in a new building, new apartment. So that's exciting. I'm moving first thing in the morning. So. All right. So my partner, like pawn at e6, is kind of bad. I probably should have sat. But I didn't see it in time. But he's fine here, as long as I don't give a bishop. And as long as I don't give more diagonal pieces. Like, there's no real threat that he has. So I might just, like, take a little vacation and wait till my partner gets a little safer. Which looks like he is. Oh, he can probably take that with a knight. Nice! My partner's playing very strong moves. Alright, so he's gonna take that. Probably place another bishop on 
Yeah, so now that his knight's on... Like I said, sometimes knights can be defenders of your king, especially when they're near him. So right now, the knight on e6 is actually defending black's king, because what white would love to play is pawn at e6. Pawn at e6 is a much bigger threat than knight at e6 is. So, just like I said before, when, like, for example, if there's a knight on g2, often it's my defender, because I can step to h1. If they ever did, like, knight at g2, knight at h3, and I step king h1, and he has, like, rook at g1, knight f2 threats, then I can always capture the knight on g2. So it's actually, like, keeping my king a little less claustrophobic, while at the same time, like, I have the escape squares, but at the same time, the knight's not threatening anything. So that's why I say it's, like, a defender. So I'll just go bishop at f8. It's actually a bad move. I should have taken this rook. Oh, whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy, whoa, whoa. Can't go that way. Can't go that way, buddy. <laughs> that was my threat. It was a trick. It was a terrible trick. It doesn't even work. But you could have just taken it. Like I said before, a lot of the time you want to recapture on uh, F8 with your queen because then you defend all the squares really well. So that's that. Let's jump into another one. So this game, we have a... Uh, I don't know if my partner wants to play because it's it is against a low-rated team, but yeah, we're gonna just play anyways. Let's go. Made some moves. That's awesome. So he pushed his C pawn. As you can see, I, maybe my partner will take advantage of it. Maybe he won't. So yeah, he pushed his C pawn and immediately is like, "Wait a second! I probably shouldn't be pushing my C pawn in the opening. Let me place a new pawn there." <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, don't push your C or F pawns in the opening. It just creates too many chances for your opponent to get an advantage. Like it, it just creates weaknesses essentially. Because you know the second that pawn moves, they have like an immediate like sort of dark square advantage on like D six, and also if they can ever like you know play like Bishop F four pawn at C seven ideas, Knight at C seven ideas. It just creates like counterplay that you really don't need to deal with. You know, don't do that to yourself. And the F pawn, I feel like that one's a little bit more, like, understandable. Like, you know in doubles chess that a lot of the time you want to sacrifice there. So I open up that square before they even do that. You know what I mean? It's just dangers that you don't need to deal with. Don't do that to yourself. All right, did I play three? Okay, I'm losing count here. Okay, this is the last one. Then we're moving on to the next uh, player. Alright, so we'll see if we can get a quick win over here. I know. I know. <laughs> Just always crying. Hi. I know. I know. I know. It's so hard, isn't it? Everything's just so hard. <laughs> Did I not destroy my chair? It's a problem with having cats. They just destroy everything you love. But then you love them at the same time, so it's like, ugh, fine. Destroy everything I love. Too cute for me to say no to. So my partner is doing very well on his board. So I might just try to trade queens off. You know, attack this knight, attack this queen. Um, Because a queen will be mating for my partner. He has queen to d3. He found it. Nice. I'll give him this queen. That'll be the nail in the coffin, I'd say. Give him this knight. Whatever he needs, he'll get him. So yeah, I'll just, I'll take a vacation. Taking a vacation here. There we go. Amazing. So we'll move on to the next person in the queue. Good games. Thank you for partnering Bloodthorn. Who's up next? Who is up next? We got Scavenger. Alright, Scavenger. I remember you from Friday. I remember trying to spell your name. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. Let's see who, what opponents we get. All right, let's dive in. All right, so just like kind of like a normal 
set up here. You know, bishop g5 isn't necessarily considered the main move, but I like to play this line sometimes just because it's good to switch things up from time to time from playing the same line too often, especially if you're playing in a series against the same opponent. You gotta switch things up a little bit, gotta catch them off guard. So bishop g5 is a line that's not necessarily fantastic because, you know, it kind of just allows them to take off your dark squared bishop, which, I mean, it's, it's fine, but like, I don't know. It's maybe not the best, the best idea. It's, it's fine, especially since you're usually going to get like a, some sort of like attack on the f6, like g7 squares. It's just that usually um, you'll develop to like f4 and things like that. So I'll just take the check here. You're probably... Okay, it doesn't take. So yeah, I just want a free piece. That's awesome. Like I would say this, it basically it equal it, it brings it slightly more equal. I'd say like ever so slightly more equal. Or you probably white still has some slight edge, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's one. It's one for the for the question book. All right. So I would, I don't even know what I want to do here. <laughs> I'm like I'm like staring at this position. I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna sacrifice all my pieces. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna give away everything that I just won. Why not? Let me just relook at this opening. What since you're up times? Just... Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I I agree with everything I just said. Okay. I'll check. Get a little checkerooski here. I'll say trades are fantastic. Like a pawn is just brilliant. So I can take on g2 here. Oops, I'm predicting my opponent's move. I mean, my partner's move. I'm going to tell him, take g2, please. Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I need to refresh now. <laughs> Shri little refresher -oo. There we go. All right. Let me just make sure that the boards are fat. Yeah, we're good. So I got the pawn. Drop that. Queen mates. So I'm going to get the queen. I will promote to a rook. Always promote to rooks when you can. That is a very important thing in doubles chess. You must assert your power. <laughs> you must checkmate with as least material as possible as long as it's in the same amount of moves i would say mate and two is not as like mate and two with two pawns is not as good as mate and one with one queen even though you're saving material mate and one's always better than mate and two but if you can get the same mate in the same amount of moves with less material do that it's funny <laughs> it's probably like terrible but just like, maybe don't listen to what i'm saying now <laughs> oh gosh okay we have one more game right Let's get him. I'm just being silly. It is fun, though. Alright, so we're playing more of this line. He'll see if you get. Usually they don't want to give away the pawn on f7 because, well, now he is. But it just does. There's no attack here. I'll, I'll say no queen. This time I'm going to remember to be like, hey, buddy, no queen. So he might sacrifice. Yeah, he's sacrificing his knight here. I mean, I'll just go king d6. I'm gonna go on an adventure. I'm gonna say don't trade. Don't do it. So we're down time. To be honest, I probably should have just blocked, but I'm being a greedy Garamo. Oh wow, he's giving the queen. My partner is like, gonna mate me. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm getting mated. <laughs> so I said no queen, but unfortunately my partner gave the queen anyways. He probably he should have just blocked on e3 with a pawn or something to avoid a queen trade because I was completely safe in that position. It was the queen was the only piece that could have mated me. That's all right. Good games. Thanks for partnering, scavenger. Who's up next? Let's continue on. Next in the queue, I think I, yeah, Katask. All right, Katask, a very very strong chess and doubles chess player. So this will be fun. All right, we're gonna dive in, see how we do. Katask and I played against Chicken Crossroad and 12 Teen, otherwise known as uh, Janik and Daniel, yesterday. And uh, we did very well, I'd say. We, we went up points at the end, and those that's the top team in the world, for those who don't know. They are, uh, 12 Teen is the top doubles chess player in the world, and Chicken Crossroad is the second, like the second best doubles chess player in the world. So when they're partnered up, they are a force that is terrifying so we actually did quite well i'd say especially since it was the first time katask and i had ever partnered up so and we were playing with buttons rather than than talking so we had some disadvantages but i'd say that um we did very very well all considered i was i was a ton of fun it was honestly i think i laughed so hard for so many of those games <laughs> i had a great time it's just overall hilarious stuff 
but also very strong play. I think all players played very well. So he's pushing his c-pawn, so I'm immediately going to take advantage of that. Remember what I said, bishop f4 pawn at c7 ideas are scary. So we're going to right away take advantage of your opponent's weaknesses. You can do it in, in doubles chess too. Just like they create holes in chess with the pawn structures, they create holes in doubles chess, except that you can actually place pieces in these holes rather than having to shuffle the ones you already have there. So it's just even more scary, I'd say. Like, having holes in doubles chess is scarier than in chess, because they can literally just take a piece and put it there. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And yeah, my cat is crying. You good? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no worries if you didn't see the no, the no trade sign. Do not worry about it. It was good games. Oh, wait. Can't go that way, buddy. Okay, we got mate there. Nice. My partner is dominating on his board, of course. Nice job, Task. Get another game going. Make a challenge and get away with pushing F and C pawns. Honestly, guys, I live to I live to uh, bring entertainment to your lives if I, if and when I can. <laughs> I love to do funny challenges. I probably won't do them here, but on my own channel, if you want to go check out my channel, it's Helms Night. It's just you know maybe we, someone can put a shout out and link my channel in the chat. I think also if you hover over the 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 street the streamed uh, stream the the, whoa the video box <laughs> it'll also show you my uh the link to my personal stream page and on there i accept all kinds of crazy challenges so you can like tell me to like push all my pawns one move up and try to win a game and i'll do it i love doing this kind of thing it's a lot of fun so feel free to challenge me to silly things over there Alright, so I'm feeling pretty safe here, despite the fact that um, my king's on f2, my knight's covering f2 as my knight on e4, keeping me safe, so if for whatever reason I somehow got checked and had to move my king, there's no threats on f2, like queen at f2 or something. And remember, for those in chat who uh, maybe didn't hear before when I explained it, uh, when I say at, I mean a new piece being placed. So if I say like queen f2, then that just means move your queen to f2, but if I say queen at f2, that means place a new queen there. See, I'm like, I'm just writing this down because I need, I'm trying to keep track of all these like sort of terms. Look at that, beautiful three knight mate. That's gorgeous. Love this kind of stuff. All right, yeah, Katask, thank you so much for partnering me again. Knights in the center, he says. Yes, gotta have your knights in the center. So strong. But yeah, I'm trying to keep track of, if anyone in chat knows, like, doubles terms that aren't used in chess, we're trying to, like, come up with some more definitions for you guys so that we can explain those at the beginning. And you'll know what I'm talking about when I say stuff that maybe isn't so common, like, a common language with just standard chess. So let me know with that. Like, who's next up in the queue? Let's find out. I'm trying to scroll up here. So we got Einstein. All right. All right, let's get him. Let's get him, Einstein. <laughs> it's like I brought you in here to stop crying, but you're just gonna continue crying, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna say trades are good. My whole idea is here. I wanna just try to checkmate as fast as possible. That's the goal. So I'm gonna push Harry up the board, try to dislodge this knight so I can play knight e5. You know, just try and get my pieces around his king when and where I can. You good? <laughs> Hello? Come here. So I got 95, that's the plan. Oh my god, come here. Alright, there we go. That's how you get a child. 
All right, I guess I can take these out since nobody's talking in my earbuds anyways. All right, so here I might just go, do I want to go queen g4? He's got knight, knight f5, but then maybe I have pawn at g6 ideas, which is fun. We good? Okay. So trades are good. Yeah, this position looks pretty good. I guess he might want to go like bishop at f6 just to stop me from taking here. And if he goes bishop at f8, it's not as good because then, you know, his king's more cramped. But yeah, rook g8, I was going to say, is bad because I have pawn at h7 threat. So if I can get a pawn, it's really good for me. We'll see if my partner can grab me one. If not, then I'll just, you know what? It's probably better that I just keep moving anyways. I'm going to not sit because I have a really good attack and pawn it. It's not even a big threat, because after I take and you be captured with the knight, I still have to do the whole thing that I'm doing right now, which is trying to get in on the light squares here. So I'm going to take e6, because since this pawn is um, pinned by my bishop, I can just capture there, and that's beautiful. My partner is doing a really, really amazing job at defending against his opponent's sacrifices, which I said that when you're at a level below 1800, you don't necessarily need to know how to do it very well. But he's doing it very well, so that's very impressive. Nice job, Einstein. So he's going to go there, isn't he? So I'm going to just give up my queen because I found like a weird mating net that I think works. We'll see which way he goes. I'd like, okay, he went that way, so that's annoying. So um, here, a knight mates. He's going to get a knight, my opponent, but I'm going to have to try and find like a weird way to mate him here, I think. Could take here. This isn't as solid and as safe as I was hoping it would be. Like I was hoping this would be just like an easy checkmate, but I totally messed up. The king g8. Yeah, he's good. My partner's safe. So I'm gonna just. What can I do here? I might go. I might make a silly looking move to see if it works. Let's go bishop at a6. I know this move looks ridiculous, but I swear I have a plan. I don't have a plan. I swear I have a plan, don't worry. So my partner can just go king g8, I think. Oh, I should stop making moves on the board. Oh, did, did my opponent move? Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't realize. All right, so I just have mate. I just have mate. I didn't realize it was my move. I apologize, partner. Yeah, I'm apologizing to my partner. I'm like, I'm sorry. I did not realize it was my move. That's so bad. I guess do your best to try and get up time. Yeah, just go, go, go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, partner, I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Now you can sit. You do not have to move anymore, partner. Oh my gosh, my partner's a beast. Look at that. Whoa, dude, you just survived, like, down so much time because of my poor visualization abilities. You just survived down time, like, down a queen. That's freaking, that's epic. Nice job. What? How did you do that? That's epic. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Nice. All right, was that uh, was that two games? Where are we at with the with the queue? All right. What's up next? What's the plan? That was awesome. This was. Uh, did you have you played a game before? Or was this your first game? Is that what you mean by this was the first? Okay. All right, who wants to play next? Come join in. We have time for a couple more games. 
My cat's just sleeping now. She, she settled down. She's, so whenever she's crying, it's always because she just wants attention. Of course. <laughs> Alright, Smash Time Fools uh, will play with me, and then we can play it as well, Katask, if we have time after. But we shall partner up with Smash Time Fools, who hasn't gone yet. Fantastic. Oh, wait, do, do we have someone next? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have uh, Vinat here. I'll partner them. Gotcha. There we go. Let's go, Vinat here. Offer to partnership. All right. See you, Katask. Alrighty. There we go. Accepted. Let's jump in. No hesitation. Just zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got some high rated opponents right away. That's pretty epic. Alright, I'm gonna try and get some uh, attacks going right away. Because, you know, why not? I'm gonna go knight g4. The idea is when you don't have knight f5 as a resource, you'll usually go knight g4 as a way to sort of try to keep your, like, safety and whatnot. I'm just gonna... I will... Mm, I'm gonna take the bishop. I don't want him getting bishop at g5 and it's annoying. I'll just take this. Yeah, you know. It's fine. Alright, pawn is amazing. I want a pawn. I'm gonna ask my partner for a pawn, please. Pawn, please and thank you. Um, watch out. Watch out for uh, knight f3 mates, yeah. Watch out for the knight at f3. I'm just gonna go knight at e3. Alright, so he took the g2 pawn. That's a pretty good thing to do. I would have probably gone bishop at uh, e3 to defend there, but this is also totally fine. Two knights mate for me. I don't think I'm gonna get them, so I'm just gonna keep making moves. I'm gonna kind of try to create some threats here with knight at, uh, knight at h4. My opponent has a sort of maybe attacking ideas with bishop at g7, but I think I could just step up and I'm fine. Don't quote me on it. I mean, you should be quoting me on it. That's why I'm here. But uh, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I am. I'm totally safe. So we just keep making some moves. Take this knight. Um, I'm gonna push uh, d5. I'm not too sure why my opponent is partner is not moving. Uh, maybe they're saying like sit, but I think that maybe sit is not a smart strategy here because my position is actually better than my opponent's. So I am happy with uh, them not moving because I'm just gonna. Oh wait, whoa! I just hung my queen. <sighs> oh, the pain of a thousand moons. I just hung my queen, made my partner. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was literally just a blunder, blunder town. I didn't realize that was hanging my queen. I would have obviously just gone queen g7 if I didn't realize that that was not a free pawn. That was not a free pawn. That was, nothing about that pawn was free, Helm's Knight. Come on, get your stuff together. Alright. Whoopsie doopsies. Let's try again. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, this is don't don't play this kind of stuff. I just hung a uh, pawn thing. It's not a big deal though. In this opening, yeah, I would say that my position's actually still better, even though I blundered that little fork there. But uh, yeah, I need like pawns for h6 and stuff to if I want to like prove anything here. Go queen e2. Try to like get up some time if I can. So yeah, knight knight f6 is like a sort of okay move. He wants to go knight here, so maybe I'm just gonna he wants to go knight here probably actually. Knight to h5 is annoying. So I need, like, pieces, unfortunately. I don't really know. I'm gonna have to try and keep moving, unfortunately. But every time I make a move, it's making my position slightly worse. A lot of the time, like, in this kind of openings, you need material at some point. Because otherwise, um, like, I, I blundered a piece in the opening. So obviously, my position is not going to be great if I don't get pieces at some point. Like, even just one pawn uh, at h6 earlier on probably would have made my position far superior to my opponents um, with a little bit of material but unfortunately uh, no trades are coming on my partner's board which is not their fault like his opponent's just not playing a trading opening so my bad for blundering a piece now I'm just like worse but we'll see if I can pull something off 
Like, I'm just losing material, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to go upon h6. I'm going to ignore everything and be like, <laughs> hope for the best. Um, I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to do rook takes c7 and queen takes on h4. I'm just being ridiculous. I really w wish he'd play this move. That would just make my life easier, wouldn't it? Knight h7, knight f6, and queen takes h7 would be hilarious to play. One bad news beers. <laughs> what are the Helms knight blunder messages? Bad news bear and whoopsie doopsie. Uh, that's so true. Alright, so I'm just gonna go pawn at f6, try and create some sort of threat here. Alright, I'll take. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy, whoa. That was not a move, Helms. That was not a, that was not a... Okay, I need to focus. I'm gonna tell my partner to sit. I'm gonna go bishop here, try and stay safe. I now, him taking at g2 is actually not great. His best move was knight at e2, because after I go up, bishop is mating me. Like, a lot of pieces are kind of almost mating me. So here I need a bishop. Bishop mates. Bishop, 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 bishop. Give me the bishop of life. I'm not getting a bishop. Alright, I need to rethink my uh, life decisions real quick. Um, yeah, I, I need my partner to get me a piece. I'm completely busted without a bishop here, unfortunately. Yeah, tough. Tough stuff. I'm not too sure what to do. There's not- well, there isn't anything I can do, actually. I mean... I guess king f2, but like, he can easily force it. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Here. The fact that I'm surviving as long as I am is surprising. Here. This is me just hanging on for dear life, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. How am I alive? I'm gonna give my king an escape square on h2. Ooh. That's not good. This is me just hanging on. United h3. Pawn mates me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on, obviously, just, like, what, what went wrong this game is that I played the opening poorly, and then, um, I needed material that I didn't get, unfortunately. <laughs> so, good games. Thank you so much for playing Vinets here. That was fun. My bad. I feel like those games, I made a few blunders that really did not help our case. Can't win them all, though. <laughs> Don't apologize. That was on me. I literally blundered both games in, like, silly ways. Alright, who's next? We got Smash Time Fools. Alright, uh, I think we have maybe time for, like, one one game. Let's try and do it quickly. We maybe have a little bit of time, just a little bit. One game. Then we gotta end. Then we shall be, shall conclude this fabulous evening. Alrighty. So here, my idea is I'm just gonna sacrifice, and my my hope is that uh, I'm gonna take this bishop. I'm gonna try and open up some of the squares around his king, get knight at g5 in. So he right away is like, I don't want you attacking me. <laughs> He's like, I am going to try and attack you. So that's a really good idea, is in positions like this, you want to try to somehow try to get the initiative. But I'd like to believe that I still have the initiative here, despite all that. So I'm going to go knight at uh, b5 to threaten taking. This is super dubious. He could probably have gotten away with taking this, but the reason why it didn't work is because... Um, I'm going to go pawn at e7, threaten rook at d8. Now it actually might work, because if I take, he's got rook at f1, but I think I can... Mm, no, maybe 
maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe this is too dangerous. Yeah. I was gonna just say the reason why this works now is because my knight's pinned and I can't take on g2. But, um, I'm gonna try to survive. I'm gonna say don't trade. Oh, my partner's getting check checkmating his opponent. I'm actually fine for now. He should have gone like rook at f2. No, rook at f2. Take knight at g4 was probably mating me. But rook mates for my partner, so my partner can sit. Yeah, so in this position, my partner is going to bail me out a little bit, so to say. I mean, it's fine. My partner is, like, going to have mate. I find a mate helmet. All right, so he's given the rook. Yeah, so now it would have been better before when he could have gone knight at, uh, knight at g4, but my pawn covers that now, so I'm safe, thankfully. Um... Yeah, my, my, my partner does not want to draw, and he got the draw, unfortunately. <laughs> hard to get, hard to get. Oof. He didn't see it. All right, good games. Good games all around, guys. We're going to be ending off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed today and learned something, or, you know, just enjoyed the crazy chaos that is control, like, the, the controlled chaos of Devil's Chess. And, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, so I hope you guys did too. And we're going to be raiding someone, so we're going to want to stick around for that stay in the chat thank you all who played and interacted in the chat looks like we're raiding our of course our partner grandmaster naroditsky so join in on the raid and we're going to go over to his channel all right that'll be a lot of fun he's going to be doing some chess i remember he said so awesome hope that you guys had fun and i'll see you next time sunday next week sunday we'll be doing this again same time